Hello everyone and welcome to the very first stream of Hermitcraft Season 10. And I'm under the weather. Man, you can hear it in my voice. Ugh, it's kind of how I feel a little bit. But I also feel like, wow, Season 10, here we go. I'm so looking forward to this stream. I'm going to do it anyway, even if I'm, uh, you know, not 100%. Welcome to all the peeps in chat, tuning in, saying hello. Thank you for coming by and hanging out with me. We're going to go on an adventure today. An adventure that I realized would be aided by an underutilized block, or let's say item in this game. Uh, that is the bundle, right? The bundle's been a bit of a joke. Did I get some seeds? Look at that. Every now and then you just accidentally hit the wrong thing. It just happens. Anyway. Uh, over here I believe there are some cows. Yep. If we breed a few up and kill one and get some leather, we'll craft ourselves a bundle. And that will be immensely helpful, I think, on our journey. Which I'll tell you all about. But first of all, peeps are still tuning in. Who is on the server? These people up here. Actually, you know, I was online the other day and everyone was grey or red. And I was like, oh, this is tense. It seems like those of us that are still alive are on today. Uh, we've got some noises in the air. Cactu PNG, thank you ever so much. 17 months of support. Bill Stevens here for 25. Hope you get well soon, dude. Thank you, thank you. I hope I get well too. Uh, Dante Redeye, thank you for 49 months. And Gobcap is here for 46. I hope you get better super quickly. Did you hear that, Bell Stephen? Gobcap said super quickly. That's even faster. Oh. Not enough empathy. I'm messing, of course. Hey, and Bell, <laughs> right, right as I'm, right as I'm, goofing on ya. Bell Stephen coming in with gifted subs. Hot melty cheese, again. Baby Oda Bean, fairy bread thief. Uh, Canuck X Y Z. Y'all been gifted subs? Be sure to say thanks in the chat. Uh, I assume a great start to season ten. Says Arrowline. Thank you. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. I mean, for me, it's been a really simple start. I'm just trying to just take everything easy and uh, have fun. I don't know. Well, I did have like a bit of a mega plan type thing. And then I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to roll into this one with like no pressure. Let's see what happens and have fun. All right. Now, the bundle should have a reasonable... Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it's just because it... Co oh, string. String is valuable, isn't it? These chickens are loud. Right, I need a little bit more leather. That's what you need to do when you're in here. Now we've got enough for one bundle. So I need some string. There might be some sort of like lying around left over in a chest, which would be pretty cool. Pretty handy. Handy, handy. Uh, otherwise, find a mine shaft or kill some spiders in a cave, right? Any predictions for who might reaper you, says Ordini. Yeah, no one's going to reaper me. I'm going to win gonna win oh and our first little our first little bit of like talkiness from my comments like the first little uh, controversy it's just uh, it's not the right word at all the mildest of controversies about this season okay i have people saying that the demise game is too like life series there's also way more people really pleased that it was like the life series the thing is demise is a hermit craft game it was on in season six right so, I, I think, you know, sometimes you can just see a negative where there doesn't need to be one. That odd British one is here subscribing. Jamie's Dev also subscribing. And Hayley Bailey for 39 months. Whoop, such great vibes this season. Glad you're digging the vibes. I'm digging them too. Randy Nicole, the legendary, 2002. 105. 105 months. Incredible. Evil X is definitely in his house. What's the demise prize, says Man Magic. Well, there will be a prize. The point is that it's going to be a surprise. Which is another type of prize. And I don't have... Oh, no, wait, I can make torches. Aha, uh -huh, a full stack. So, yeah. Um, if we find a spider or two and get some string, then that's going to actually really help us on our adventures. This terrain feels very Tetris. There's a skeleton over there. 
Like finding a mine shaft means cobwebs, so you get string that way. Just trying to think of is there any sort of source of string that I'm not thinking about. Corallus has a zombie grinder, but that's not a cave spider thing. I think I might head up here, as I don't think I've been that way before. I have ventured into these caves just a little bit here and there. The prize is someone sorting out your chests. Right. I hear a skelly bob. As well as a noise in my ear. Oh! Okay. Hold up, fella! No, I was blocking! You are not the spider I wanted you to be. Okay, noises. Noises, noises, noises. Uh, just Stradra, thank you for the Prime. Toclafane, also with the Prime subscription. Thanks for using that on me, my dude. Miss Alvos is here for seven months, and Demon King 98 is here for 19. Thank you so much, as always, peeps. Is it possible the price to be an Elytra? Well, since it's going to be a surprise, I guess I can't tell you what it's going to be, right? Uh, one thing I would... See, I don't really want to collect stuff from the caves, because this wasn't actually my plan to be down here as of yet. I'm literally just looking for a spider. Why don't we just see if anyone got string? Maybe the, the easier way is to just do that. Just be like, hey, hermits helping hermits, man. Oh! Whereabouts is it? Uh, Nordikion. Thank you for your 32 months. I haven't even seen your episode yet. So many new videos to keep up with. Cool. Thanks for tuning into the stream, my dude. Uh, Melly B, 1984 is here with the Prime as well. Thank you so much. I think there's going to be another storyline after this, and if you win Demise, you get the leading part in that. Theories. People have got theories. Ah, it's Pixel Riffs, the legendary, for 69 months. Hee hee ha ha. Uh, hello from the recap writers. Yes, someone is busy, I imagine. Preparing, preparing a recap video. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate the support. Uh, Liger's here for 44 months as well. Thank you, Liger. Oh, I've gone too high up. This is what happens when you stream. The multitasking is real. Oh, where's that? <laughs> I am ignorant. <laughs> I am ignorant. Here it is. This is the way out. I thought I recognized it. No, I don't want a storyline. I'm one of the law haters, even though I'll watch it if you give me, says... MC Beast. This, uh, I don't think this was... Was this dug out by me here? I don't think this was me. I think someone came down here and did some digging. It's odd to think Season 6 is just as far away as Season 1 was during Season 6. That is odd to think. Definitely feels like time has accelerated since Season 6 and 7. So, before we head over to where XB was, uh, there was a reason I started here. It's funny how uh, nothing ever goes to plan. We know this, though. We've been streaming for a long time. I got distracted by the idea of string. I was actually wanting to do some trades with the villagers quickly. So, before we head to XB, uh, I must remember, there's a reason I've got so many pumpkins in my inventory, and it's to do this. Now, you can get discounts with the way they've changed and tweaked the villagers. But they tend to come and go... Oh my god. Why are there so many iron golems accumulating here? This can be resolved, actually, with a bucket of lava. But I fear that somehow we'll find a way to mess it up with all these villagers around. Like, if I set these villagers on fire... Yikes. That ain't good. Radio. Um... I need to drink some water. I am so going to have some coughing fits. I know it during the stream or something like that. 
It's an organic iron farm, says Uriel. Well, I mean, it's... Let me, let me show you where the iron comes from. Uh, Mark New, 17 months. Congrats on a season 10 kickoff. Thanks for the content and all that will likely follow. Jamie Dev says this is the worst iron farm I've ever seen. It's... It's a trading area that captures iron golems. That is the breeding area that is, you know, basically an iron farm as well because iron golems will keep generating. This over here is supposed to be a trading area. See, that stuff, if it spreads out, like, in theory, it doesn't even touch the villagers, but I just hate the idea if for some reason it decides to. If I time it right, I can get some iron out of this as well, but I don't really need that. Like that. That's better, isn't it? That's much... Oh my god, there's so many of them. This, this could make for an amazing thumbnail. Just a bunch of flaming golems. So I'm going to keep moving through here and doing this. Uh, Armored Monkey, thank you for gifting a sub to Admirari. Thank you for doing that. Eva Gilland is here with the Prime, Flaming Sorcerer with the Prime, and played Heart for 40 months. Double digits of Hermitcraft. X with beyond dedication at this point. <laughs> I've been here the whole time, I guess. Cherry Pie 84, thank you for five months. I will try to feel better. Oh boy, I was a little too close. It kind of felt kind of felt like one of them was about to attack when I started taking that damage. But no, it's the lava. Also, dang it, this water's got blocks above it. Oh well, we'll just burn. We'll just very happily burn. The Black Ranger PL, 92 months. Best of luck for the season. Thank you, my dude. Another evil X in the, his house. Potions has played heart. Potions? This early on? I don't have no potions. Ah, uh, maintenance. It needs to be done, right? That was some good maintenance right there. Look at all this maintenance. Here's another bit of maintenance. Wow. That time I got some iron out of it. It's kind of weird the way you can click through the iron golem onto the block. It's a bit skeptical about working. But... Got these ones at the back to keep uh, burning. Because they take they take damage from being in contact with the lava and from burning. Ooh, there we go. Hey, we got some gifted subs coming in from Foofy32. Thank you, my dude, for gifting the subs to Analessi, Cola Boyerly, Volkthar, Storm Chitty, and Game Arrow. I'm sure I butchered some names there, didn't I? I absolutely did. Uh, Tabby Lin, subscribing. Duplicorn, also. That's a cool name for two months. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my dude. And Queen Chazzy here for donation as well. Saying, wishing you the best for season 10 and hope you're feeling better soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll feel all right. I'll feel all right. It's been, it's been a bit of a story, actually, the sickness. It's been a bit of a story. Sorrel the Soul, 47 months. Probably want to put down some carpet or moss to prevent the spawns. I don't think they actually spawn here. I think they just wander around and fall in and get trapped. But, um, you know, we've got other things to do today other things to do so uh this chest over here i keep just dropping off random bits of junk in right so we have accumulated some junk here that i don't really need to hold on to as of right now trying to keep this inventory clean for very good reason what i do want to do is oh yeah there's another thing out here sugar cane i want to get a bunch of this next aqua sir thank you for 17 months appreciate it buddy. well i think a creeper explosion happened here and someone didn't Tidy it up. Yeah, there is there is a bit of a story with this sickness. So right around recording season 10, 
Like, quite a few people in the group had sore throats and were getting sick. And what's interesting about that is that, of course, we're all spread out across the globe. So, how's that happening? It's just, just, just coincidence. Uh, but then, like, in the days following Season 10, other people came down with sickness. And then I, I got this little tickle in my throat. I'm like, oh, man, am I getting something too? And then my sister has a sore throat and I haven't actually really seen her. And then mine sort of developed a little bit. I think... I think I'm kind of past it because today I'm at that stage where you feel your body like getting rid of all the phlegm and stuff. And I didn't really have a sore throat. I just got the tickle of it. And only for like a couple of days. But it's just like, man, what, like, what are the odds here? Just all these hermits, you know, starting a season and all getting sick at the same time. I don't know. Is something going around? They're all spread out pretty far. Let's see. Um, so yeah, we want more emeralds. Now, actually, the trade... I always forget this. I think... I think if they've got a bookshelf trade, it's unlikely they'll have the paper trade as well, I think. Because the, doing the paper trade can give you a discount. Now, that's a very cheap book. Which one? I think... Sharpness, maybe? Or... Efficiency 5. Yeah, okay, so this one here, like, let's say we're after a discount. That's why I'll do these paper trades, and we might get lucky and get one. First virus to be transmitted virtually. A virtual virus, eh? I think there's been plenty of viruses that have been transmitted virtually. Uh, Billman68, 84 months. Evil X in the his house once again. Thank you for using the Prime on me, my dude. Dan Metroid Arnold here for four months. Welcome to season 10. Where Asuma continues playing with lava despite what happened in the beginning. Oh wait, am I supposed to bring that up again? That was funny. I, I was just trying to, you know, go stare at Joel. Who, every time I say his name, it feels wrong. I'm so used to saying people's alternate names. If we call them that, their avatar name. Anyway, I'm going to have to get used to it. So, yeah, I go to stare at Joel and, like, Cub walks into me. I think it's Cub. And I go in the lava. But what cracks me up is that, like, a lot of people were shouting at me to come back. And I was thinking when I watched it back, like, what can anyone do? Like, no one's got a bucket of water. So, anyway, I continue rushing over to the water and I am literally in there with half a heart. I mean, wow. Just crazy, right? Just crazy. So here's the dealio. I need to spend my emeralds on books. Some specific books as it goes. Um, I must have gone past it. Here it is. Yeah, so we've got a discount on this one. But that's all I can get now. Because this stuff, well, it uh, takes a bit of time to get. I need a better source of emeralds at this point. Uh, I'm not going to do this again. I'm going to go on the adventure because otherwise we'll spend most of the stream here grinding. Plus, we've got to go visit XB. Uh, the one other thing I want to do is see how much iron there is because we could trade iron in for emeralds. Yeah, look at this. Like, no one's really using this over here. In fact, if someone does come by, let's leave a couple of stacks. I'm going to put the other stuff at the uh, trading area. Uh, we've been raided by the one, the only, Daisy Music. Daisy, thank you for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Hope all is well. Hope you're enjoying uh, playing guitar and singing. I have been playing guitar a lot this last year. I've gotten back into it. And I'm trying to decide on buying another guitar soon. But uh, it, is, it is awkward. Like, I want to go play a guitar before I buy it instead of buying one over the internet. Just based on, like, reviews and stuff. So, yeah, this is the other thing that I need for our little project is axes. So, I'm going to go and put all this iron in here. And I, th I can't remember what I wanted to do with the bones, but I think it's going to be a good idea to hold on to that. This stuff over here, this is all going to go uh, in, my, in my building over on the left. Then we're going to go to XP, then we're going to go on a, an exploration adventure. How many Minecraft days on the server is it? Good question. Now, I think... I think that... I can't remember. I don't think I reset 
the day counter from when we generated the world. What shouldn't it be listed somewhere here? Local difficulty, current day ticks, days play six hundred ninety two. I I think that's erroneous. I don't think I reset the day counter before we started. It did cross my mind, but I wasn't entirely sure how to do it. The amount of preparation I had to make for this season is kind of mad. Like, I spent a lot of time preparing stuff and sorting things out and just... A lot of that was communication as well. Those are custom trees and they look kind of incredible. Okay, uh, where did XP say it was? 46, 421. Nope. Uh, towards HUD? Surely it begins with a, a C. CH toggle, that's it. Uh, Phantom Mickey, thank you for subscribing. Liger, thank you for gifting a sub to Gail and Ami. Very kind of you to do that. Bron Kidley, five months with the Prime. Dominic, also five months with the Prime. Is your name still white? Yeah, I'm still white up here. Yield envelope for 13 months. Over a year. Many more to come. Awesome, my dude. Uh, Station Wagon. Thank you for subscribing. Let's Sky. Probably butchered your name. And it's Talula. Thank you for the prime. Hopefully we're all caught up on those noises. I don't want to miss anyone. I want to say thanks all the way. Okay, so then it's like... Wait, which way are we going? Oh, it's like 300 blocks this way. Okay, that's fine. Well, this is on the way then, isn't it? Kralis' red name in the tab is unsettling. <laughs> he's he's on the hunt. Got to watch out if you see Kralis. He might come after you. He came after me. <laughs> That's something you'll see in tomorrow's episode. Wow. This is this is quite striking. Floaty cruise ship. I have no idea whose base this is, but this is amazing. This could be mad spoilers, by the way. Oh my god, I just realized it probably is. Oh god, it's Corrales! It's Corrales! Papa K! No, 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 Sheshwam! Hey, dude! Hi, How's it going? What's, what you doing? Uh, I'm just searching for a saddle for XB. You want a saddle? Yeah, I do actually. That's one of my things today. Was like, if I see a, a good horse, a good speedy horse, I uh, there you go. I might take that You're up welcome. as a method of transport. Thank you. That's that's super handy. And and, and a name tag for your horse. There you go. Uh, just next oh, to there. Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 kicking I me out here. I <laughs> spent a few hours fishing yesterday. Got ya. <laughs> so so yeah. I I, I know what I'm going to call goodness. my horse. By the way, it's now been what? decided. My horse's name is going to be Name Tag. Do you remember the Name Tag? Yeah. I remember name tag. Season two? <laughs> was it season two? Oh, I think yeah. No, yeah, it was two. And I think I think Cleo stole him and killed him. Um, oh um, boy, he's gonna be talking, cursed. He's gonna be cursed. Talking about horses. Oh, are you supposed to have one around here? Oh right, you got one. There we. Oh, there he is. Per perfect. Nice. Uh, you need a string, right? I do actually. Yeah. Do you have a couple of pieces? Yeah. I only need two. Uh, you know what? Let me just get. Bear with me, okay? I'm not bubbles. Beat up is much better at this. Perfect. Come over here. This okay. way. Is this the string farm so, here that XP's at? Yeah, well, I did find like like a, like a single spider spawner, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Uh, just, you know, like, I don't need much string. Yeah. So, obviously, it's always something to have. Uh, jumping down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I can't follow you down, Corrales. I actually can't follow you down, can I? What if I create my own water source to get down? Brilliant. This'll be fine. <laughs> This'll be absolutely man. fine. <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong oh, here. Man. No, it's fine. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent okay. <laughs> oh, you try. I would try. never kill any of you. Well, I, XP's here. He's not killed. That's true. Right. That's true. And I would have killed him first, if anything. Um, uh, you, you've already tried. Straight. I've tried oh. a couple of times, yeah. I did. <laughs> it's a spider farm, not a cave spider farm. 
Right. Nice. No, it's just no one. Uh, oh, X, I... you might know this. Because mm -hmm. uh, I had issues with, with the spider jockeys. Uh, oh. They're getting stuck and blocking the spiders. So I placed a few magma blocks just on the on the exit or entrance. You think that will help? Let's have a look. Is there a way to look into this thing? Uh, well, technically, you can just free break cam. a few blocks over here. Oh, free cam. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh... Over here, X. Um, so we have those free blocks. Would that I think he's using free thing? cam. Corrales. Oh. I don't know that it would. The, the thing is, doesn't doesn't the skeleton get dragged into the blocks when the spider goes yeah, underneath? Yeah, that's what I thought. No, no. Like, I was standing here previously, and, like, a few of them were getting stuck and blocking the spiders. So they were make they, a like, lot of changes. Were they, like, on the edges, or were they, like, mm, right in the middle? Well, a little, little bit off the edge, I guess, but, but, uh, but quite centered. Oh, what you got here? Oh, how does that work? You've got what? a thing up the top to kill the spiders when they go up there. I see. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I was going to suggest maybe you could just cut open some of the blocks so the skeletons come closer and you still hit them with your sword. Hmm. Oh, you've also well, got so items uh, dropping into where the fence posts is. This is this is reminding me of last season. Like, oh, oh here we go. A skeleton jockey. Look, he's coming right in. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? It might be. Because now when, when I'm using free cam over here and I saw that, it seems like the jockey, he jumped up a little bit when touching the, what you can call it, the, the magma. The spider jumped up a little bit. And maybe that made him go all the way through. Maybe. Because previously they were just getting stuck. Yeah, this this I just built this like a second ago, so it's not really like fully optimized uh, and such, but, but it works. It works. It's There's good. string. Yeah. A lot of these things I mean, don't really need to be fully optimized, do they? You know, you get what you need. No, no, they, they don't. I mean, how and much, I did how much share a screenshot need? of a dual cave spider area that's pretty close. If anyone oh, yeah. wanted to do anything with it, I might oh, explore I a little spiders. further because with cave spiders you can get like six if you're lucky, like all close together. Maybe not that many, but six. I've definitely seen. Yeah, back in the day, I made a farm for like eleven of them. But yeah, it is possible to get like quite a few together. So I, I, I'd kind of wait until you see a few more than that. Anyway, what, check out what, what I got. What is, what is that in your hand? Oh, it's the bundle. Mm. Uh huh. Do They're you, useless, you right? Have that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go on like a long journey to pick up like lots of items, like kelp and saplings and stuff. So I think it actually a bundle will be pretty good for that. Might work. Or an I think it'll work. Filled with bundles. Or an ender chest. <laughs> I haven't killed an enderman yet, so it's not an option for me. Neither have I, but I have an enderman. And I don't chest. have silk touch. <laughs> so. We'll or get no, there eventually. I'm just embracing enderman. the it's... early game right now, you know? Oh, how how right, yeah, better yeah. to do that than using the, uh, the much beloved bundle that no one's ever criticized? The highly praised, very useful. <laughs> totally in the game. Right. Not, the not, on, not on how standby. <laughs> How many slots does it have? Is it 27 slots? Well, technically 64, right? So you can, can put hold 64, 64 different single items. items. <laughs> or oh. a stack of one item. Yeah. So it's good for junk. Uh, and I happen to I want mean, to I collect mean, junk. Armor so. and such would, would kind, of, kind of work as well, right? Armor, no, armor, uh, armor is a full, like a stack. Armor is like that saddle yeah. you gave me, that's like a whole stack. So that can't go that's in. Non stack with all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What is it good for them? But I guess Nothing. I guess I guess something <laughs> junk junk I guess exactly that. yeah. Well, I'm uh, gonna try and make use of it on my adventures today, so hopefully it goes well. Good luck, Shashwan. Did you get yeah. the string you needed? Yes, I did. Thank you so much for uh, showing me the farm. See you guys around. No worries. Have fun. Bye. Break and don't watch die. your back, XB. Don't forget he's oh, look, he's got the axe it. out. I'm going around this guy. <laughs> going around this guy. Oh. I always watch myself. He's chasing <laughs> me away. Carlos. I'm jumping. Ooh, quick, oh. quick. Oh. Okay, we've evaded. We've evaded. Right, we're going to go in this direction now. Mute the mic. Uh, we have loads of noises, as always. Goofy me. Thank you for nine months. Steam lava. Satakion. Oh, with a raid. Satakion. Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Thank you for that. That's awesome. Hey, look, kelp is some of the stuff I want to grab, so let's go grab that now. Yeah, welcome all the raiders. Uh, Mamanella. Philip. 
Philippa Lack Sender. Oh, I've absolutely butchered that one. There's no way that was correct. Thank you for four months. Dasha Pack, thank you for free. Ducio Free, thank you for the Prime. Peeps, if you can't tell. Oh, I'm so sick. <laughs> as I'm talking, my mouth is going really dry as well. Gosh, I need to drink some water again in a second. Uh, sea pickles would be another grab. Now, one thing I don't want to do is actually get a crazy amount of these. Like, maybe five again. Because once I start farming it, it'll multiply. And we don't want to clutter our inventory. So, for now, we just want to get, like, one of each item in there. I've gotten the two tall flowers. I have birch, achacha, and oak saplings. So, now we're on the lookout for different types of sapling, different types of trees. And I was hoping some of y'all could, like, nudge my memory. I've got sugarcane. What other things we might find out here in the wild? I don't have silk touch, so we... Oh, I do have it on an axe. So we might be able to get a bee's nest or some bees together at some point. Uh, Lolly doesn't pop. Thank you so much for three bumps. Get some tall birch trees here. Right, I'm going to drink some more water. Oh dear. Do I have all types of wood yet? Considering that we're going on an adventure to get the saplings, I would say probably not. A good suggestion in chat. Oh, pink petals. I think I got those. Yeah, I think I got pink petals. I saw one. We got moss. That's done. I've got bamboo. Oh, that was it. It was uh, berries in the spruce biome. Yeah. Chaotic Gaming, thank you so much for 500 biddies. Very kind of you. Hi, X Big Fag. I wanted to know if you watched the Hermitcraft Game Theory and what do you think about it? Yeah, I did see it, and I still, I still have very mixed feelings about it. I don't want to get dragged into, um, you know, a, 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 a sort of calling people out or anything like that. But the explanation that we were given about that has never been satisfactory for me. I, I really think that that was plagiarized. Um, the biggest reason I think it was is because apart from the theory being so on point with this fan theory, like beat for beat, the fan theory, the original one, has a detail in it which is a complete and utter misunderstanding of something that was just a rendering issue there was a rendering issue in the video that this fan extrapolated into meaning something and then so did the game theorists um fan theory or whatever you want to call it right it made the same extrapolation on a rendering error to me it was just too uncanny and supposedly no the writers never did that uh, you know, I'm not here to say they did or they didn't. It's, it's, of course, entirely possible and you can never know. It just, it never satisfied me. It never felt right. So, um, yeah, I, I still, I still feel like not too great about that. Like, it was nice to have my story in a big video. That, that felt really cool. But the, the way in which it happens, not cool, I don't think. I just, uh, I don't buy it. <clears throat> Got to be careful around here. Don't want to be falling down. Um, Payus, 523101. Thank you for the Prime. And Drew Dude, here for 29 months with the Prime. So many Prime subscriptions today. Dang. Okay, here's another thing we can come here for. Is for the uh, Dark Oak Saplings. We need to get four of them. Wouldn't mind just finding a tree that's a little bit isolated. So you don't have to, like, ruin a whole forest. Just take a little spot and leave it alone. Don't you need mushrooms? Yeah, I guess I could grab the mushrooms too. Why not? They're farmable with bone meal, so... Makes sense to grab them while we're out here, right? Is X still alive in Demise? I am. X doesn't buy his own lore. That's so damn cool, says M-E-M-C Beast. I don't know what you mean like that. by that. I'm not saying I don't, like, buy my own lore. I'm saying... I think, I think it was plagiarism. I really do. Like I said, you know, that an uncanny amount of similarity, like beat for beat with the fan theory. 
and then even misinterpreting a rendering error the same way it just it didn't feel right at all it really felt like this had been ripped off so yeah so, so therefore i feel bittersweet about it like it's cool that there's a video out there on evil x but it it should have been made by someone else you know or, or with the or with the original theorists consent that's how I feel about it. Okay, we'll chuck that in there. We've got that one done. Now for... Yeah, we've got Silk Touch here. So, I don't actually want those blocks. Using a Fortune tool increase the sapling drop. Yeah, but by so little... That it's, uh, you know, tedious to do, really. Oh, we've got six. Wow really notice again i think it makes sense just to destroy this thing so that it doesn't look like you've left stuff half done behind All right here's the other one uh well most fan theories rip stuff from other theories so it's bound to happen says dark wolf hunter yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sign off on that as like I'm not sure which theorist you're saying. Um, but having spent a lot of time on the internet watching videos about stuff, you know, topicality videos, after a while, you do tend to get this sense of like, oh man, like what, what went into this? Like that research process. I want to know what that looks like because eventually you'll you'll encounter a video where it's like, I've heard someone say this story the exact same way before something along those lines right i remember i remember a certain someone making a video on a topic that had the same misunderstanding like it was a topic that i happened to know about and they misunderstood a point and got it wrong and then later on this other person came out with a video on the same topic and they had the same misinterpreted point in it it just kind of made me think like uh what's going like what is the level of research that's been done here did you just sort of see this other person's video and, and that was it so plagiarism is a very interesting topic online i've also seen channels drop the same sort of content at the same time and this makes me think that like somewhere like a journalist has published an article and then that's become you know the, the impetus for a video but yeah it's uh it's a dodgy thing and it's gonna get worse with ai there's a real problem online with these sort of fake science videos that are basically just nonsense, just using AI to like pump out scripts and generate stuff over and over again and just push as much of it into the online space hoping that something hits, right? Like these automated science-esque video farms. They worry me, they concern me. They're a similar type of problem. Spager in chat saying, hey, how is Caesar Ted treating you so far? Happy to be back in the hermit life. Yeah, man, I am loving it. I'm really uh, inspired and in a good place with it all. Mainly, though, because I decided to, like, ditch these big plans that I had. And I just want to kind of play a little old school and just get on and, like, do whatever you feel like doing. Um, so it's been a really nice start to season 10. There's a good vibe. And uh, being sick doesn't really help to it. Also, the other thing, I think I might have to switch away from using this microphone. Like, I, I've not been happy with it myself, and I've been noticing a few nasty comments, um, which to me kind of indicates something wrong with the microphone. I think I might switch back to the one I was using before. <sighs> oh, am I, uh, ugh. <laughs> uh, Obsidian says, have you seen H-Bomber's video on plagiarism? It's insane how it can get. Yeah, I have. And when I was watching it, I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if, like, this was plagiarized? Because he went on to one topic where I was like, oh, I've heard this story before. I know about this one. That's a joke, by the way. I'm not, not in any legitimate way suggesting that. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a great video. 
I think it's always important to watch stuff like that and especially when you're listening to anyone express an opinion is to ah I kind of knew this was good about to happen that's why I turned around okay let me out I don't want to destroy the train in the process I'm a conservationist okay there we go yeah I, oh god I've done it again I think it's really important to you know, take things in, learn as much as you can, know your own ignorances, and uh, sort of make your own opinions. So there, there were some there were some bits in it that I thought maybe weren't as clear cut as he was uh, making it out to be. But the whole the whole video absolutely highlighted a big problem, and it did so with a lot of clear, like more clear and obvious examples, um, as well as there being some less clear cut. But the thing, the thing that interests me is like, where is the boundary? Because it's not, it's not always just one way or the other. It's not plagiarism or not. Like, there's a difference between being inspired and recreating or copying. But that difference, like, it's not black and white. It's blurry. There is some sort of uh, thing over here. Okay, someone's built a farm, an iron farm of some sort. Permission is my opinion, says Obsidian. Yeah, I think just getting permission is a great starting point because if someone else agrees, yeah, you can use this and agrees on the capacity in which you can do it. Maybe also you've got to say that that's acknowledged, then it's all out there in the open. You know, like then the viewer can understand, okay, I'm watching this video, but it was made originally by someone else and this is inspired, yada, yada, yada. They got the full context. By the way, I do know roughly where I am if you think I'm just aimlessly wandering. We should encounter some jungle biomes and then a mangrove swamp. I, I'm going to have to mute for a second. I don't know if you can hear it, but like I get all kinds of bugged up here. Oh, don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I just, as soon as I like went to clear my throat, it all came up. It was just kind of building. Uh, we got some noises in the ear, by the way. Sniper1974 here for 94 bumps. 131 Leonardo with the Prime. Tanny Glace here for 54. Sodaso1 here for 18. G Snap here for 96. Evil X is definitely in the his house. This season made me feel very reminiscent of season three in the best possible way. Oh, interesting. Uh, Bertie J, 373, thank you for 44 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've actually now lost my bearings that I've logged out. Free cam is ridiculously powerful. Okay. So that way is that. I don't know who this is, by the way. Let's see. Let's read something from chat. That's Cub Space. Oh, okay. Cub Fan, right. Cub Fan over the back here. Season 10 is probably the most season start, the most hype season start ever, in my opinion. Um, I, I think season 8 was. Just because season 7 brought in so many people. And then the pandemic happened and it really just created this crazy environment, right? For making content and consuming content. And then season 8, right off the bat of that was just... Uh, I don't know, there was, there was a big buzz around that, it felt like to me. But you know, it's all just measured. What is it? Just subjective experience. Olive Ollie, thank you for... Uh, Olive Ollie 1955, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Here's the jungle I was expecting to see. 
I feel like Season 9 had way more hype due to the delays. That's uh, that's a good point, actually, yeah. There was, like, a big build-up to Season 9, and then there were delays. We had to hold a committee meeting and stuff. Right, I want to get a sapling. I don't want to tear too much down of the jungle. I think it probably makes sense just to tear down this one here. Just the one tree. It's a little bit isolated. Here's the pookering chat. Season 10 is the fishiest season start ever. With note, block, and fish head. Is this related to something I haven't seen? Uh, I haven't like watched any anyone else's uh, episodes or anything yet. I was out all of yesterday traveling. And I'm sure it helped contribute to my sickness. And uh, today I was going to, you know, get on it and work out and do all of that. And I woke up and I was just like, ah, I, feel, I don't feel 100%. And like these days I'm just like, take a rest day when you need one. So uh, I went for a walk instead. Lovely walk with some fresh air. Outside, lots of greenery and stuff. Penelope says X goes outside. I love the outdoors. Uh, Salas Hidden, thank you ever so much for nine months. Appreciate it, thank you. That's a Twitch baby, we've got an emote for this. Yeah, the outdoors is when I feel most at peace, actually. When I'm out like walking. It feels so relaxing and uh, simple and yeah, I love it. Question, why do you care about the game theory video? It's just a theory, isn't it? It's not called a game fact, says Ollie. I care about it because I believe that someone's work was ripped off in the process, right? Like... It's it's not cool to take things that other people do and pass them off as your own, right? Now we live we live in a world where no one's no what anyone ever does is never original. Everyone's inspired by something. Everything is a remix. You know, any music you've ever listened to was informed by some other sounds that came before it. That's just the way things are. The, the way to go about it is to, you know, like explain what your inspirations are and stuff. Talk about it and share it and let other people know about the things that inspired you if they like you as a creator. But to like take take something that someone else did and try and pass it off as your own, that's something I'm not cool with. And so I don't know if they did or they didn't, but the explanation that we got to me wasn't very satisfactory. Okay, I never put those saplings in there, huh? Uh, I've already got birch, and I'm trying not to accumulate too much clutter here, so a few of these things are going to get thrown away. Every book and piece of writing is technically a remix of the dictionary, if you think about it, says Shikoko. Well, did other writing come before the dictionary, right? I get what you're, you're, you're like, on the right idea, on the right path. Oh, we should get some cocoa beans. I'm going to cough again, I think. Yeah, you're on the right path. The dictionary isn't the first thing, though, right? Like, it's very hard to say what on earth the first ever thing is, but um, it's it's a case of, you know, like, I don't know quite what I was going to say, really. Just everything is inspired by something else that came before it. Technically, the dictionary is based on other people's speech and writing, so the dictionary is plagiarism. Now, plagiarism is where there's, like, you know, that intentional passing it off as your own. I don't think the dictionary was someone trying to say, we made these words. I think it were people trying to um, create a record of all the different words and give them meanings. I seem to remember watching a show about the creation of the dictionary or something along those lines. Who lives over here? That's Tango. I know that. And Pearl's there. Don't know who this is. That is that looks like Efo actually. Oh wow, chat, chat literally saying it seconds later. This gives me Efo vibes. 
Dang, it's very cool. Very EFO. Lots of copper. Dang. Lots of copper. And some sort of uh, wood farming going on out the back, that's for sure. Did EFO put out his episode then? I mean, the last time I looked at my YouTube feed, actually, like, people were still putting their episodes out, so I imagine... Oh, y'all are saying, yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah, now that I've seen all these other Hermit builds, I kind of feel like, uh, my one's not really up to scratch, but whatever. Like, it might take me a while to find my feet with building. It, it, it's the thing that I kind of want to go towards this season. I just, I just get this feeling, like... I've done... I've done so much automation and farm building over time that when i do it all this season it's not going to be that much different it's going to be you know interesting having the crafter but that's kind of it so i just <laughs> i just remember saying i wanted to bring some obsidian with me to make a nether pool i totally forgot to do that i thought it'd be when we get like far away to the mesa make a nether pool and then set up a nether tunnel at some point anyway any hoozle. I, yeah, I really wanted to get into building. I just did, I didn't have, like, something off the bat, I don't think. But uh, I've started on my base, and, and maybe with time I can improve it. But yeah, being surrounded by all these amazing builders is very inspiring. Opinions on taking six copper blocks to make two trapdoors. Uh, it ain't right. <laughs> it ain't right. Uh, by the way, we've had more noises in the air. We've had Keon138 here for seven months, who is online right now, these people. And PurpleFrog221 here for free, saying thank you for the great content. Thank you for your support, my dude. Appreciate it. To, to all of y'all tuned in, be sure to hit that follow button over here on Twitch. I will be streaming plenty of Hermitcraft in the coming months. Ooh, that looks like war motion to me. Right, and... Should we still touch this and see what happens? Okay, I get it. Huh. <laughs> I knew there was something to do with the... Putting the campfire underneath it. But then I also knew it worked with silk touch. And I just couldn't remember what way around it was. So many things to remember in this game. But hey, we just, we just went for it. Are you the first person to stream Hermitcraft Season 10, Asuma says Chimera Dev? Maybe, yeah, maybe. I did plan on streaming it even earlier. Um, like, first thing in the morning, but I just kind of woke up and had other things to do. Well, I was going to work out, but then I uh, went for a walk instead. But yeah, that was my plan. Like, Sunday mornings, I tend to do early streams, and then I go out in the day, but there's nothing on today, so... Yeah, just doing this. I mean, that's definitely... It's not got the coral reef, has it? This over here. I think... I think you need the coral reef one for sea pickles. Oh, that was a puffer fish. Oh, God. Dolphin's grace. Which I don't particularly like. I do have depth strider, though. I'm fortunate to have depth strider. Have you got melons? I have, yeah. Got those. Got plenty of those. Right, I've got a Chacha wood, so that's not an issue. The mangrove swamp is somewhere over there, I think. I'm going to have a look. I've got a map on another tab. And somewhere... There is the mangrove swamp. So, I think I can see roughly where I am. Lukewarm motion. If I go further off. Oh, and that's a river, not. There's lots of war motion. Lukewarm is actually halfway. Okay, so if I go in the direction I need to go, we should find a coral reef. Okay, I kind of looked at the map and sussed out where we are and where we're going. That way should lead us to a coral reef and then round to a mangrove swamp. And um, we also got a noise in the air from a name I have not seen in a while. Caxio Music. Here for donation. Hey X, I recently graduated from university and having so much free time for my hobby. 
Oh, wait, I feel like I read that wrong. And after having so much free time for my hobby, getting a nine to five hit me really hard. Do you think you could handle a full time job at some company now that you've been able to do what you love full time for so long? Um, that's a great question. Thank you so much for the nation, my dude. Like, it would definitely, I would definitely kind of like rock your world to leave this and go do something different. But for me, like, I think I would want to seek out something like more meaningful. Like, before all of this, I would have just done any old kind of job, right? Whereas now, after doing all of this, it kind of makes me feel like you should seek out something with a little more meaning in your work. Something with some like impact and reach and I don't know tangibility. Because because I'm I'm used to building things now. I'm used to working towards something. You know, creating and uh, air quotes achieving. So it sort of feels like work would have to provide that in some in some way. Okay, we're at the coral reef. Where we shall obtain the sea of the pickle. Also, if I want to build a sea pickle farm, I believe you need these blocks to do it on. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Well, maybe I'm just hallucinating, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a bunch of these ones too. Just, uh, just the blue ones so they all match. Oh, yeah, and let's try not to die here. Try not to die. Yeah, on a journey like this, if I'd have brought a couple stacks of obsidian and just made nether portals, like wherever you found something of use, that'd be kind of super handy later on to come back and just be like, ah, here it is. You know, this will help. Look, the bundle's definitely doing its thing, isn't it? It's definitely doing its thing. Okay, now we're going to go in that direction off to the side a bit down there. So what convenience do you miss most from Vault Hunters? Magnets? Um, yeah, probably, I don't know. Magnets is a good one. The storage system is amazing on there. But, you know, it's back to vanilla now. But once, you're, once you're in vanilla, it's just... You get used to it. Now, that's actually not what I was expecting to see. Let me check the map again. Oh, I guess maybe... Okay, maybe it's that bit. Right. We're going quite a long distance. We're going quite a long distance here. Is there anything in a desert I should collect other than sand? Or a mesa? I can't really think of anything. Like, I'm trying to think of those unique... Unique finds. There's there's a shipwreck up ahead. But again, I don't think anything... Oh, cactus! Well done, chat. Well done. This is the power of the collective. Together, we are smarter. You see? You see? X, you collected dead coral. You need live coral for sea pickles. Oh. Well, thank you for the clarification. We have the time to amend this this error of mine. Camel. <laughs> I wasn't actually thinking about creatures, but yeah, a camel is a collectible, I guess. Dead bushes might be nice. I'm looking for farmable things, really. Oh, needed some more water there. Shove a camel into a bundle. Is this, I mean, maybe I'm modded, but not right here. Together, we have more than two brain cells, says Poke Kid. Just about. Don't exaggerate. Oh, is it really going to be like that? I guess because I'm in the water. It's going to be painfully slow, isn't it? Wow, that feels like it's getting slower. Dude. Oh, trolled! Wait, and then I didn't get anything. So, you can't use Silk Touch on a different tool. Is what we've just learned. Brilliant. Okay. I guess I'm not doing anything else with that, am I? What would be the point? What would be the point? Protection 4. Wow. Shall I... Shall I... 
I'm going to eat it. Poison? That sucks. Well, that was pointless. This one next. Empty. Ugh. That probably means someone else has been here. If they have, maybe they just didn't know about the one below the trapdoor. Uh, I'm just going to bounce. There's nothing here. Sherds and trims. Sherds and trims. Neither of those are renewables, are they? There's cactus. Hanging out on a hill. Hello, cactus, I said. Poke Kid says, Asuma, what do you think of bass? I was waiting for the follow-up as an instrument. Oh, I think it's a terrible instrument. Get rid of it. Oh, bass. Making low noises. Oh. Why would you ever? Why would you ever? Uh, I think the bass is a cool instrument. Can you turn up the mic a bit, please? I guess I could hold it a little closer to me. I'm not really talking that loud today because I'm sick. Uh, Riff Raff, thank you ever so much for 36 months. Excited for a new season of Hermitcraft. Me too, me too. Now, I was about to say, oh, look, a nether portal. But then I noticed it's uh, nether portal? Desert pyramid. But then I noticed it had been raided. Right, a little bit of cactus. I mean, maybe I'll just put eight in there for now. Like, that bundle's going to get filled up quick. Should have probably gone for two. Bass, or, bass guitar or double bass? I'll, I'll just take a regular bass guitar. An electric one. The music, the mic is fine, says C4 Myers. Oh, you want the music turned up? Take obsidian so you can make the portals. Nah, I'm not going to do that. But I might do. I might make some obsidian later. Kind of want to uh, continue this quest for now. Oh, I'll tell you what. There was one that we missed, which was the sweet berry bushes. We had a shout for that in the chat as well, and it's just going to pass me by that one. I don't know why I've got this on either. It doesn't need to be on, really. How do I get mud in Minecraft? Isn't it just a water bottle on a dirt block? I was thinking about this because I need mud. And then I was like, wait a minute. You can make a mud farm. Dude, detached cam is just so tempting. So easy to use. Birdie J, thank you for gifting a sub to Pope Kid. Very kind of you to do that, my dude. We got Freak Burrito here for 56 bumps. Uh, Alba Enchantress. Here for six. It's been a while since I last caught a stream. Figured I'd tune in whilst I work on my thesis. Enjoying the season so far. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. PG Petch is here for 25 months. Having started a new world, coincidentally myself, I'm excited to play alongside the Hermits. Awesome, my dude. With the same seed, I'm guessing. Thank you for your uh, 25 months. Ishan, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Introvertaus80, I am Smuckle, Scullyhoo, Karyak69, and I sign shop. Y'all been gifted subs? Be sure to say thanks in the chat. Dude, this, this thing is so far away. Like, on the map. Let me go back to it. We're definitely still going in the right direction. It is just an age away. Is the seed public already? It is, yep. Is that an azalea tree? That is so... Like, in the middle of a desert, you see a tree popping out like that? You know what that's about. Hey! It's XB Crafted! Who's that? It's the, it's the person we named this season after. XB, thank you so much for uh, six months of support, my dude. Appreciate it. Let's hop off here. And uh, go on foot for the next bit. What made you pick the seed, says Narwhal Nar. I didn't pick the seed. Whoa. Okay. Let's go this way around. Let's play it safe. 
You guys got them new tough blocks? Very nice. Yes, we do. We do. We got them. I guess there's a few of these biomes here, because that's the second tree of that type. Oh, look, a village. I don't recall seeing this on the map, actually. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, we're basically heading straight that way, and we'll get to our destination. I was a little concerned that these deserts weren't big enough for us, but absolutely massive. Then again, you know, famous last words. You know what the hermits are like with deserts. The one thing we can't farm, we decimate. Okay, that might be exactly, yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see over that hill. Nobody has moss yet, says Zuff Cuds. That's not true. I have moss, so do other people. You can't build a sand duper, says Azurod. Nope, sand dupers are not allowed. Is Doc going to be able to sand dupe the season? No, sand duping's not allowed. In fact, I think any type of duping. I think there's like one or two things we do allow with duping. TNT duping. But in, in the group, it's more like we wish there was a proper way to do this. But Mo Yang haven't given us that, you know. Now, I also need some mud for my builds. But my inventory is, uh, well, we can clean it up a little bit. We only got room for so much stuff on this venture, you see. Looks like someone was here before. Oh, fell in a hole. I think someone came here to this very spot and chopped out a few bits. <clears throat> oh dear, I'm going to cough again. I'm going to cough. Okay, that was good. That was good. Right. Uh, what I actually want are just the proper gules, right? There's one. Maybe get a couple of more. Don't have to decimate the whole thing. What's the easiest way to do this if you're not going to just tear down the place? Usually I come in and tear stuff apart, right? But, we're so early on. I don't have an ender chest. So we're going to make use of the bundle. I only want to get like a handful of these. And then I can build a farm with them. So that sorts me out for that one. Look at that, we're already full up. So our bundle is now full. With that many items. Right, um, Cherry Blossom, I don't think I've got, but there's some near us. There's a creeper hanging out. Wandered out of a cave, maybe. We've got the two types of tree in the nether. Let me think. Dark oak, oak, spruce... I don't think I'm missing one here, right? Glowberry? That's not a sapling. But we can go get a glowberry. That's a good idea. Bamboo I've got, yep. Yeah. Uh, I've just listed cherry. I'm on about the ones I don't have. It's not too often I get to do this. Follow the game's natural game design mechanic to lure you down down below. Although, isn't it isn't it supposed to go all the way to the cave? I thought it was the way it worked. This is a lot of sandstone. The sandstone goes deep. Dang. There you go. Then there's some more down here. Huh. This is how I thought it would work, that it would lead you all the way down. Maybe the sandstone just like overrids this stuff for a little bit. Oh my god, there's so much of it. So much rude dirt. Oh, XB wants to know which direction is the desert. You need lots of sand. Let me uh, make sure I get it correct. West. Just go west. Then you come to big oceans and lots of sand. I could try and make another ball. 
How far down? I've got to come back out of here. Oh, my word. Ah, there we go. All of this for a glowberry. And rooted dirt is such a cool block. Well, we got some meanies hanging out. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! Oh, wait, that was the kid saying that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it could have been a trap. Oh, it was. Dang. I got the shield. Look, come close, you wimp. Oh, look at this guy. I'm just going to stand back here and shoot over and over again. I'm going to stand in the middle of grass and make your life... Oh, my God. There's a creeper with them. Not a creeper. Hmm. How to deal with these so-and-sos, eh? Oh, that'll make cobble now. Unless it's slower. Go on, wreck them. Wreck them up good. Oh, that's not a lot of wreckage, really, is it? That's more like it. Oh, what about this guy? Oh, is their pathfinding actually good now? All these years, it's been awful. Now it's like, no, actually, we're really good at pathfinding. Changed our mind on that one. Right, I'll hop down here. Now, uh, got you to deal with too, haven't I? That You see that bat? Definitely trying to get in the way. Definitely. Oh, I don't like that lag. Whoa! Zombie go fast all of a sudden. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's it. Wreck him. Nice! That was good. That was good stuff. Right, I don't want any more roaming into here, really. Okay, finally at places. Right. Clay is not renewable. So when I break this... Okay, this might be... Oh, I did bring bone to me. Thank goodness. This might be why we got bone to us. Now we got glowberries, and they're the placeable ones, right? So we can bring those back with us. Okay, good stuff. Now I feel obliged to collect this rooted dirt. <laughs> just because it's such a cool building block. But look, I've got two stacks of it. We'll get a bit more on the way out. So glowberries was a good shout. Clay is renewable now. Is it? Is it renewable? Is Dripply farmable? Oh my god. Drip leaf might be farmable. I think you're right. I think I can bone mill that. Whew, okay, we'll take it. Mud turns into clay. Okay, so you make a mud farm and then you make a clay farm. Wow. Wait, how does it turn into clay? I feel, I feel like I'm pulling a blank here. Like, I know I do my update videos, but... Okay, I don't have the best memory, so like I need a memory jog here or something. Clay is dried mud. Dripstone, y'all are saying. There's actually dripstone caves like near where I am. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mud with dripstone below it? Clay is made with mud on dripstone. Huh. I, I, I still feel like I don't quite remember that one. I was listening to this podcast the other day. And the person on it was talking about how like they've done so much stuff with their life. Um, that, like, it just sort of ended up becoming a blur and they couldn't remember all these things that they'd done. And this is, like, someone who creates content or whatever. And I was like, man, that feels so relatable. <laughs> like, I don't know what it was, but, like, the last five years or whatever, it all just becomes a blur. In the beginning, it's like, you know your accolades. And then after a while, it just becomes like, oh, I did that, did I? Okay. Just always creating stuff.
X, do you already have moss blocks? I do already have moss blocks. Uh, Prixel25 is here. For eight months, saying season 10 hype. Thank you, my dude. Thank you for all you do. And uh, thank you for the support. We've got Marmot95 here as well for 53. And the one, the only Lizzie Bess here for 61, saying, Hello, X. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Thank you. Appreciate you saying that. Yeah, no, I'm uh, a bit under it, really. Not in the worst of ways. Quite manageable, but... Oof, definitely uh, definitely need to relax after this. Got some homemade ice cream to enjoy. Okay, what should we uh, what should we chuck? Probably that spruce wood there. I really I really don't think I need this. I just <laughs> rooted dirt is cool. Okay, this will be the last stack of rooted dirt I think. Plus, look at my shovel. That'll be the best time for it. Here we go. Is rooted dirt renewable? It is actually, yeah. You can you can make a rooted dirt farm. I don't know, it just feels so weird to have so much of it. I, I don't think I've found too many of these that go that deep down before. Like the first ones that I found, there was only a few of those blocks, so they seemed kind of like super rare. Just got that impression of it being rare in your head. Okay, that's that handled. We've taken care of that. Let's go look at the map. I'm gonna shout out some biomes and stuff. And okay, we're sleeping through the night. That's good. See if any of this jogs my memory. So on the map there are what are those? What are the drowned faces on here? There's no like tooltip. What could a drowned face be? I don't know what a drowned face is on the map. There's temple. There's one with a star as well. Ocean ruins. Oh, you lot are smart. Yeah, okay. Sniffer egg maybe, but like I've done that before. That takes time to find, so maybe not today. Okay, so the biome we're at is massive, and then there's a jungle biome. Beyond it, there's a savanna. I can't think of too many other biomes that I need to visit right now. There's witch hut, swamps, woodland mansions, but I don't think we get renewables from those things. Yeah, I think it might just be time to head back. We need the sweet berry bush. That's kind of it. Oh, I really do feel like I'm missing something. In swamp, collect tadpoles. Oh, that's a good idea. Then we can breed up some frogs. Oh, speaking of which, here's one. Hello. I'll call you Ribbit. You're missing inventory space, says Coolagen. Yeah, we're short on it. We're not missing it. Got all the veggies. Uh, no, actually. No, I haven't got, like, carrots and potatoes. But they'll, they'll be really common around... The area we're playing in, right? Like, they will not be tricky to find. I, I'm now I'm now thinking about tadpoles and trying to remember all of this stuff. I'm just going to look it up. I, I said... I, I talk a lot about memory lately because I've been struggling with it a bit. And then I was thinking, like, just look it up. So your frog has to lay frog spawn. Yeah. I knew I knew that weren't quite right. Then you got to wait for the frog spawn to grow up to get a tadpole. I, I'm not sure this is something I want to do right now. Like, it might not be too much of a hassle to get a couple of tadpoles in a bucket, but I'm not sure if that's like the right thing. Just bucket frogs. I don't think you can do that. You feed a frog slime. I don't think you have any. I don't have any slime, yeah. So I think we'll uh, we'll head back now. Yeah, I'm just looking again. I think we've got most of the renewables sorted here. 
All right, upgrade. Thank you ever so much for 11 months. Oh, actually, we've got loads. We've got loads that I've missed here. Hang on a second. Scroll back, scroll back. Uh, Syrian Hug, thank you for the subscribe. Bertie J, gifting a sub to Rema29. Very kind of you to do that. And we got more gifted subs from Queen Chazzy. Incomplete Painting. Dark Typing. Emery Moose. Leafiala92. Babu Chick. Uh, Y'all been gifted subs. Be sure to say thanks in the chat. We got Dust745. Upgrade86 as well. Both for 11 months. Thank you ever so much for the tremendous support, peeps. And uh, hit the follow button if you're enjoying the stream over here on Twitch. I'll probably stream again on Tuesday, I think, will be my next streaming day. Got an episode of Hermit Craft for you tomorrow. And uh, some of y'all are chat chatting about the new Hermits as well. Yeah, be sure to check out the new Hermits. Skizzle Man and Smallish Beans have joined us. Who's on the server today? These people right here. Wait a minute. Wasn't there two red namers? There was Kralis. Okay, Kralis logged off. Because it's like, once you're grey, you're out. But like, when you're red, you're like, actively hunting someone down. How long were you guys sitting on the first episode? Oh, for me personally, I like, edited the next morning and got it all done like, straight away. Because my thing was just like, I didn't want to like, come in trying to do a big impressive build or anything. I just wanted to come in kind of casual this season so i just edited together all the funny moments from the first night and uh it kind of kind of felt like it was a solid episode so i went with that and then in the second one i started building my base uh shies 06345 thank you so much for the prime and atom 7k thank you for 23 months i think i'm gonna stand for a little bit now while we uh travel back on the boat i don't like sitting for too long i, I was traveling yesterday and I must have been sat on my bum for over 10 hours and I absolutely hated it. It was so annoying. What's better about being grey compared to red, says Throw Kid. I didn't say it was better, I just said if you're grey, you're out. If you're red, you're actively hunting. Anything I'm looking forward to this season? Just enjoying the ride, really. I do have um, I do have a mega project to do later in the season at some point i need to I, I really feel like i need to collaborate with someone on it i don't want to do it all myself i really feel like uh i don't know it requires like a level of building that is a bit beyond me perhaps but it's going to involve the community it's going to involve all y'all and like a really cool kind of uh communal thing that we'll create together and yeah, I'm stoked for that, but like, it's probably going to take at least like three months before, you know, you got loads of farms and the season settled in and you're ready to do it. Will you be changing your skin for the season? Yes, I will 100% be changing my skin. Look at, oh my god, it's green. Look at that new helmet. Look at those, look at those little feet. So different. So different. Liger, thank you for uh, gifting a sub to Buttons, Buttons, Buttons. I appreciate you doing that. We've had so many gifted subs today. I need to press the animation, actually. Thank you again, uh, Queen Chazzy, for those gifted subs a moment ago. Dev says, oh my god, skin spoilers, are super. I'm oh, spoiling the skin. Spoiling it. Are you still planning to do the mega massive build of all the hermits? I don't know what that is. The mega massive build of all the hermits? X, are you missing VH backpacks? Nah, not really. Like, modded is modded. I'm here for vanilla now. We need a sniff sumer skin after seeing Doc M and Ren do the sniffer. All right, I have one of those as it goes. You better not choose a skin related to the armadillo eye issue. I don't think an armadillo skin would look that good. I don't know why. It strikes me as being perhaps a little bit on the dull side. I really love the early days of each new world, says Early Sound. 
Yeah, they're good fun, they're good fun. So is uh, Demise like in Season 6? Yes, it's like in Season 6 when we did Demise. We know we need a Sumadillo this season. A Sumadillo, oh dear lord. No thanks. Phantom Suma for the most thrilling gameplay. Oh, that would that would be too much to handle, wouldn't it? Too much to handle. I'm holding down forward, but I seem to stop occasionally. Let's line it up. This is a massive ocean. All the reds are joining, lol. There are there are now three reds online, yeah. Three reds, three whites, four greys. What are you looking for, says XD Flam. I'm not sure now, I think we're just heading back. Collected all the two tall flowers, yep, we did that. How long you stay red? Until you kill someone else, I believe. A breeze skin would be fun, says Dev. I'm sure someone will make me one at one point, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel like the skin switching stuff I might just leave that in the past now. Right, I need to drink some water again. I think I need to mute and cough. Ooh. Oh yeah, my voice is like not too great today, that's for sure. Are you worried Mojang will change the crafter and it could break some of the builds on the server? Not especially, but if they do, you know, we'll we'll just roll with it. Do you pick up jungle saplings? I did do that, yep. Doom guy suit but a Lego head just for mess with people. That would be funny, yeah. 1.14 gaming induction was awesome. I wish you will have something like that on this season. Do you mean in season six where we had like that little mini revival where we all went out to a new area? Because that was cool. King Nothing, 888. Thank you so much for using your prime. Appreciate it. Excuse me, burping a little bit. Wait, is the snapshot, is the server on experimental snapshots? No, it's not on snapshots. We're in 1.20.4. Can I visit more hermits while streaming? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if people want me nosing in on their business. Are you going to have a lot of custom items like last season? Probably, yeah, probably. It's a thing now on Hermitcraft, right? That looks very custom ahead of me. That looks like someone put a wheat field there. Does not look like it's natural. And that is uh, a massive hill. With uh, cherry blossom on it. Is this like is this like decorative or uh, starter farm? I think it's decorative. Okay, I can see Tango over there. Now, I think I have the cherry blossom sapling. But there's so much of it about, I can come back and get it later. If not. Ah, what we got here? Animal pens, looking purdy. And we got more, oh, sniffers. Sniffers in the house. We got four gifted subs. You can't see. Thank you ever so much for gifting subs. Kafaseg, 2-3, Dreams, 0103, Lady Heartfiller, LT Magni, Turquoise Sky. Yo, we give to subs. Be sure to say thanks in the chat. And we got Attack Zach TTV with a Prime. Thank you so much again for the tremendous support, peeps. That is a very cool little boat. Oh, is that Gem's boat? Okay. That's a cool little boat.
you can see thank you so much for subscribing probably butchered your name but thank you nonetheless Gems bots is Grady. I mean boat. I know it's boat, but Grady. I'm not sure I've heard someone say Grady before. I like it though. Right. Let's uh, put this here. Go over there. Is it just me, or you have the bottom of the hot bar cut off? Oh right, I, I feel like I feel like we're way too long into a stream. We're ninety minutes into a stream, and someone said that. That that just feels like a new record. Uh, yeah, it will be cut off just because I the the resolution is cut off by the bar across the top of the screen, right? But I guess I get, I could have it so it just crops off the very top of the screen instead. I feel like I must have done that before and changed it back or something. Anyway, I can't be bothered to change it. Actually, now that I think about it, that means that it'll be cut off on my video. Like, I have a video. Hang on, that that's a good point. Uh... Okay, let me see if I can fix this quickly, because that's bad for my recording. Let's just go transform or something, fit to screen. That's, yeah, okay, that's the way it should be for the VOD. Like, my personal recording of it. Weird. What, did all those blocks just pop into existence? <laughs> it's a clever, <laughs> clever ruse. Ooh. What's oh, going on here? We, we, we've smart. been duped, Azuma. Duped. We've been duped. Is this is this oh, like an intentionally? I don't want to say like mistakenly, but is this like an intentionally ugly build? Are you How streaming? dare you, Azuma? <laughs> oh. Are you streaming? I am, sir. Yes. Get away! Get away from my area. This is beautiful. Don't play. <laughs> <that>. Goodbye. What? <laughs> Fine. Okay then. Jeez. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what is here? No, I feel bad, Dark Zimmer. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, look, have some grass. Look, look, have some grass. My inventory's full. Spoilers are good, okay. right? People are now more excited yeah. to watch your video, you know? That's the way you <laughs> got to think about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I think it, it right. was don't, ugly. Don't Did I actually insult anyone? Because if my instincts no, are no. off, I have a, that was a bad thing to <laughs> no. say. No, you haven't insulted anyone. Okay, good. Oh, oh, I love. Oh, this is Escal, smart. I've this given is clever. you a tower. Wow. That is so clever because you had so many different blocks, so you've created an art piece. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's smart. Uh, that is. It is a piece of something, a piece of art. Yeah. It's like definitely. modern art. It's a Picasso. Yeah, got you. <laughs> I really, I could have picked better blocks, Escal, if you gave me some context. Yeah, but that's the point, right? This was the, that was the challenge, and I think you did fantastic. And Zedaf, for a man with nothing, naked, I, you've, I think you you've made got the best hot door. <laughs> you know, yeah, I've still only yeah. got the two slots, Azuma. Wow. <laughs> oh, do you get you to like are... unlock them as you go? Yeah, the diamond per slot. So I, I haven't, I haven't had much time to go caving again yet. I've just, just managed to, uh, to, to get my episode one done. <laughs> wow. So. There's a notes block in there. I love it. You're so, Thank is you, the dealio Jan. here like you only have a few blocks to add to the build each time? No, the dealio is that you don't ask any questions. Oh, gosh. And then I will explain later. Because you're part of this. You're part of this. I Am don't I? want you to know too much. Yeah, oh. I don't want you to know too much. Oh, so you're going to call me over later and tell me to do something, but I'm not allowed to know what the whole picture is, something like that. <laughs> well, now I'm not going to call you over, actually. No. It wouldn't work. Zuma, you, you're, te <laughs> you're teaching yourself too much. I'm, I'm yeah. just not welcome here. I'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, like Zuma. Just it out. a surprise. Okay, yeah. I'll stop thinking about it then. Good, good. <laughs> I've decided, Iskow, to now do that. Don't stand so close to me, you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Red Namer. Well, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> Did you forget? Okay, put that sword away. I'm not she's allowed not to PvP you. Yeah, she's not allowed to PvP. Yeah, oh, true. Jim, if only, Wait, if only in your items. Hole, don't, <laughs> don't give her any ideas, <laughs> said. Yes, keep, keep away, Azuma, keep away. Okay. Just, you just fall in that hole over there, please. Jeez, I'm so not welcome here. <laughs> Right. You know okay, that I reminded got... me. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave y'all to your activities. Have fun. Oh, oh see sorry, see I meant you. to wave. <laughs> Bye. Get so punched. Left, right, and center. See ya. <laughs> okay, I, I need to ask you uh, one last question, Gem and Zeb. Thank you so much for participating. You're welcome. See, that's that's the thing with streaming and bumping into other people. They're they're clearly recording something together. Uh, although Iska has got me wondering. I think I think I literally sussed it out, didn't I? I'm not supposed to know what he's doing and add to it. Right, um, we got the spectral the Spectress Cool subscribing. Taffy Gale 19 here with the Prime. Thank you so much. And uh Let's continue onwards. Back to the starter house I have. Just act surprised, he here. Yeah, yeah I'll, yeah, I'll definitely act surprised, yeah. That is a good idea. A good idea. Oh, there's another build back there. Alright, so I got, like, the view distance thing on. I can't remember if I talked about that in the first episode. The view distance is way bigger this season. But I think the stuff off in the distance isn't actually, like, refreshed until, you know, you get further along with it. So as I travel around the world, we see stuff in the distance. But then if someone's built there, in theory, it should like update. And then you see more stuff. Yes, it's Bobby. This time though, because I'm using the Vidium, it really works so much better. In the past when I use it, it was like a bit of a lag fest. Anyway, here we are. Back at, back at my little home now. I think the bundle was a success because we managed to bring back uh, more items than I thought we would have. Which is cool. Use those skills you picked up from Blood on the Clock Tower, X. I don't know quite what you're getting at there, I've got to be frank. Like, that's a very different game, isn't it? Why can't I get this bottle water open? Here we go. Did you notice your house changed a little? Yeah, I, I I noticed that someone came along and tore half of it down. Yeah, that's what you're referring to. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and put these goodies back in here, really. I don't think we need to sort them out too much. Oh, yeah, name tag for the horse. I still haven't found a horse. I would like to do that today as well, actually. That would be really cool. Okay, um, right, so we can, we still need to trade with the villagers and get emeralds and stuff. And then, like, I've seen loads of horses around. Now that I've got a name tag and a saddle, I'm not, probably not going to see one again for a while, am I? I want to go to the wiki and look up the horses, because every time it comes to taming them, what does it say? Uh, it doesn't actually say what to breed them with. Uh, sorry, tame them with. Oh yeah, you can actually... Sorry, right, so... Taming, you can just get on them. Over and over again. Isn't there... Can't you feed them like an apple or something? Some of y'all are saying sugar. Let me search sugar on this article. Well, that's a food. So you can use sugar, wheat, apple... Golden carrot, golden apple, or hay bale on them. That speeds up their growth. That doesn't that doesn't affect taming them, right? Is taming them literally just getting on and getting off again? You can still use hay bales on them. That's still a thing.
X, the kind of guy to have free K people's knowledge at his immediate use, but still uses the wiki, says Homer Cat. You are, you are definitely overestimating the usefulness of a crowd. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times I ask for help and people just guess and type something randomly in. Especially when I did mod in Minecraft. Like, I learned... I would like to say I learned quickly, but I didn't. I learned this lesson over and over again. You ask chat for help, and a bunch of people tell you what to do, and it turns out they're actually just guessing. But the one person that does know, they're using the wrong version of Minecraft. It's different in your one. That's, that's my experience of getting help from chat. 3k people equals 3k different answers. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's really not that helpful. All right, anyway. Um, yeah, this, this trade right here, I think, is actually a little easier to do than the pumpkin one. If we set up bigger sugarcane fields, I feel like we could take better advantage of this. Hey, look, I come back and there's no golems here. I would have expected one to wander back in by now. And actually, all I got for all of that was 13. Maybe it isn't. Maybe the pumpkins really are the best one. Oh, yeah. Also, iron. Did we do that last time? I think we did that. Here's another way to get some. We did this one. We did this trade a lot on uh, empires last season. Like, a lot. Hey, we got another Prime subscription. It's Gilvu here with the Prime. Thank you so much, Gilvu. Appreciate you subscribing. So, now we play this game of just collecting as many of these as we can. And continue to trade with the villagers. There was an auto farm, says Spincy. I made an auto farm for pumpkins. It can really do with being expanded, because... Like, whenever I come over here, there's usually like five or six stacks of it. So, it's definitely useful. Villager max out a trade after giving 16 emeralds. Yes, they do, yeah. I, did, I just felt like we had a lot of sugar cane, and then it was like, oh, 13 emeralds? Is that it? Oh, boy. Yeah, so when you set them up like this, they grow faster, but I, I kind of feel like it would make sense to grow these so you could just go along in a straight line and not have to worry about accidentally breaking the stems or constantly aiming. Well, there's always ups and downsides to every method, and just because something on paper is the fastest, like, maybe a little impractical in other ways. It's possibly something we could set up. I've got the bone mill to get it going, actually. Should we do that? Should we make our own other little pumpkin farm and just see how it compares? That would be a good idea. So this, is, this is sort of, like, reasonable, but you keep accidentally... Hit in pumpkin stems and gets a bit ugh. Look, I did another one there. I barely even saw that. We place trapdoors over the stalks, says Rain Man. That's, uh, that's potentially a good way to do it. Although I'm hitting the hitbox of this. I'm not sure that a trapdoor above it will always protect it, right? I guess it might depend a little bit on what angle you're coming at it from, because if I'm able to hit that, I guess, yeah, if there were a trapdoor on top of that, I'd probably be looking at the trapdoor. Sounds like it could work. Uh, we got Maddie Goody here for four bumps, and Sub to Mumbo here for 14. So 14 bumps, so excited for season 10, and still trying to catch everyone's video. There's so many day one videos, right? It's crazy. Uh, the legendary, the one and only May School. 107. 107 months. Was I one of those new hermits on there? Were you one of the new hermits on where? <laughs> Thank you for the uh, 107 months, my dude. That's incredible, right? Dang, so long. Uh, Nicholas, C2. Thank you for eight months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you. So what's that in chat says going diagonals? Yeah, diagonals is a pretty smart way to do it. I guess the way these fields are set up, it's like there's diagonals for a bit and then they stop. 
but it you know also depends on like how much how much is like grown yeah that does actually seem to work so I don't know you look at it different because it don't always grow consistently like there's a pumpkin in every spot if you leave it for long enough it's kind of good And then you get the occasional bit of water in there. Which you could waterlog, I guess. That might be a way to uh, stop it from being an issue. Right, that's all of that. And then, look, see what I tell you. Come back, there's a whole bunch of them. And then you come over here and there's a whole bunch of them. It's all just manual labor, really, isn't it? But Potato, thank you for gifting a sub. Or oh, sorry, gifting a sub? What am I saying? Sometimes it's just autopilot. Thank you for resubscribing for 37 months, my dude. Greatly appreciated. Hope you're doing well. So does it make sense to actually have more melons than pumpkins? Because we seem to get cheaper melon trades here than pumpkin trades. I think it does. Oh, oh, there's XP. Oh, I could be repairing my tools. I forgot about that. That's a really good way to repair your tools. Trade with the villagers. Oh, there's one missing. Where did it go? Yeah, we've lost two villagers over here. Casual ease of trading is what they are. So that got us up to like this many. Melons is always less than the needed of the two. A ratio of one to two is fine in my opinion. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Look, if you get more for less, it just makes sense to focus on the melons, doesn't it? You can right click on the trade and it will max out automatically. Apparently, we can right click on a trade. When was that a thing? I need them to refresh now and find out. I don't remember that ever being a thing. You put emeralds in the chest. I did, yeah, yeah. Only a few though, right? Just a few leftover ones. So yeah, if we want to create a better farm here, do we just like stick with the space that we got and refine it a little bit? If we put trapdoors on top, we can't walk those diagonals, that's for sure. Like I don't think this wheat and carrots isn't that needed anymore. I don't have actually carrots at all, so I'll uh replant. Yeah, I think I might do a little bit of work on the on the farm and just get it get what's already here working a little better. I think it would also be cool. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I'm really struggling with this voice. Which is why I keep stopping. Um, it'd be really cool if we can make it look interesting. And I'm just trying to think what, like, what slab material would look semi-interesting. But honestly, I don't think there's much in the way of a single block here that could impress you in any way. I think I might just go with jungle wood. There's my emeralds. There's some books, actually. We want those. Uh, some other stuff here I don't necessarily need on me this moment. Okay, that's a lot cleaner now. So here's what I'm thinking. As I waffle. Endlessly. If we go out to where there's water everywhere... I need a crafting bench. I need, actually, I need some dirt blocks. That's what I need. Mangrove roots you could waterlog, perhaps. That would look really cool. That There's a cool block. Unfortunately, I don't have a bunch of those for this project. That, that was a great shout. Yeah. 
Okay, one dirt, not good enough. No dirt blocks, dang it. I'll have to mine some from around here. Just trim some off these hills, perhaps. Yeah, I'll find a spot to dig up more dirt, that's for sure. So what I'm thinking is, if we go out to the watery area, and we start over there and make our way in... Right, I'm going to need a hoe as well. Oh, I don't have a hoe. I didn't really expect to be doing this right now. Uh, oh, look, there's one there. Good. And I want these. And I need bone meal, so... This is all... All the stuff we need. Put lighting under the water. That is a good idea. Again, do I have a block for that? I guess we can make carved pumpkins. Huh. Actually, then, no, it won't work because the waterlogged block will block it out. Right? So, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? I think, why does that feel wrong immediately? That's wrong. So if that's if that there is seeds, yeah, then more dirt. So if I build out into the water with this pattern, are these actually kind of match? So it's kind of nice that they match. Now we're keeping the water log because of the slab. That's keeping it waterlogged. So now when we go ahead and hydrate the land, till the land. Whoops. That'll be hydrated. Uh, then we go and put the seeds on them. And they'll grow onto the jungle blocks. Uh-huh. These are, these are like really small hitboxes. They're annoying to aim at. So those are going to like, as you can see, they're going to grow them onto the slabs that are also waterlogged. You can add the missing villager, says McCool. I can add the missing, what missing villager? They only grow onto dirt. Really? Ah, oh, I could have swore they grow onto any block. I'm glad you said that now. Let's double check that. I thought they I thought they'd grow onto any full block. Oh that kinda sucks. I thought that was a cool idea. Uh, let's see grow. Apparently they take ten to thirty minutes on average to grow, wow. Okay, rooted dirt, grass block, farmland, podsill, mycelium, moss block, mud, or muddy mangrove roots. So, this means, this sucks. This basically means you have to have, you have to have like a, an odd block every now and then to hydrate it. Uh, I thought we could sort of bypass that, oh well. In which case, okay, this platform's a little bit bigger. I, I can't be bothered to redo all of this if that's not going to work. Because we're just going to have the same problem where occasionally there's like water blocks like this. Now that, actually that can be waterlogged, can't it? Like that can be there. And that should really have a torch on it. That's one thing we can do to improve this. Though that one doesn't have water below it, I thought it would. Since it doesn't grow on it, if we put these down... They can be the light sources. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and replace this path and fill in this space here then. Uh-huh. 
Okay, and then we want our melon seeds. Oh! How do you get melon seeds, peeps? Do you get them from the melon slices? Buddy mangrove roots with random mangrove root would look cool. It would. But I don't think it works. Oh, look at that. Like, they're not aligned. The whole place is just a mess. Oh, well. Hello? There it is. Gosh, it's so tricky to aim at. Right, okay. So much for improving all of this. Where's the hydration ones here? Feels like one's missing in this area. There it is. Oh, I broke some again. One there. It's over here. Doc be like, but efficiency, says Juicy Pineapple. I don't think we're um, breaking any of the efficiency over here. Nothing like that's happening. That should be a dirt block. Couple more seeds there. Okay, I see uh, two spots here. Where we can put the torches. Oh, and I hit the torch now. Ridiculous. This is just how it goes. Season 2 was the Mesa, says Eben. M and Dan MC. Season 2 was not the Mesa. That was Season 4. Okay, one there. One over here. I think they just accidentally get punched out over time. As you've seen me do plenty of times. Put the torch onto a fence. Ah, uh, maybe. We walk diagonally through. Oh, uh, you know what? We do walk to the side, so you could do that if you wanted to, yeah. Let's see how I get along with it. Okay, put that there. Again, here's another spot that looks like it's been trampled times oh and then there's the farm that i built bam more of those you know while we're in the area okay i i should really do this for melons like i said a minute ago not pumpkin if you use waterlogged leaves and jack-o-lanterns below you'd never have to punch out the torches there you go there's a good combo that's that's a great suggestion, yeah. We'll see how we get along. If I end up punching out the torches, I might change it over again. All right, so even back here, we could probably have an extra one. <clears throat> one goes there. Getting a bit more used to this pattern now. I'm looking at it more. Okay, and then we've got you. I think that's most of them in this area done. This is the first time I've ever watched a stream, says Zephyr Light. How are you liking it? Streaming is obviously quite different from uh, videos, especially when I'm sick. I really am under it. I'm going to chill out and watch, uh, have some food, have some ice cream, watch a TV show. I started uh, watching this show called Bad Omens today. Reason being that I literally just finished listening to the audiobook of it, and I deliberately picked out an audiobook where 
Also, this don't need to be here. Like, I do not know why this guy is protected, so I'm making some changes here. I finished listening to the audiobook that was voice acted. I deliberately picked out a voice acted audiobook where, like, all the different characters are unique voices because I heard this theory that, like, our evolution as people involves us hearing stories around the campfire before going to bed. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, this could be a way to get better sleep, to prime yourself, you know, to fall asleep. You listen to your stories. I mean, like, you read kids' bedtime stories, right? They love it, and then they fall asleep. Like, it's a part of us. Why do, why do they all want to be read bedtime stories? Maybe it's in our, our evolution or whatever. It was a pretty cool theory. So I gave it a go. I listened to this uh, book called Bad Omens. It was all right. It had really rave reviews. The thing about rave reviews, or in general just reading reviews online for stuff, is a lot of the time people just like comment enthusiastically about stuff they like. And so like there was a lot of praise for it, but it didn't really like, I don't know, tell me what kind of book I was going to be reading. Because I don't think I would have actually chosen to listen to it if I fully understood what it was going to be about. Um, but I'm glad that I did because it sank a little different from what I'd normally gravitate to and it was very enjoyable. Anyway, it turns out, like I find out after I've read the book or listened to it, that they turned it into a show on Amazon Prime. And what's really crazy is that the voice actors in the book I listened to are the same ones as on the TV show. So immediately I'm like, oh, I know who this character is. I know who that character is. Is they're the same voice actors. Crazy. Very, very creative username says, I love it when audiobooks have different voices in them. It really elevates the experience. Yeah, it did for me on that book. It did for me. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly say it was, you know, 100% my cup of tea, but I really did like it. I like the sense of humour. The story, not so interesting, but... Anyway, so now I'm watching the TV show because I'm like, well, I get to like see how this is different from the book. Usually, usually I, I will see a movie before I read the book. It's the other way around. So this time I, I get to experience it that way around. And the thing is, it feels a bit word for word because like the dialogue is like identical to the book. I'm like, yeah, I remember them saying this. I remember that bit, you know, I remember that joke. Now, I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. It's just like, oh, just, it'll make an interesting experience. Hope you liked it, says lovely viewer. I'm glad I gave it a listen. It was good. There were bits of it that, you know, dragged a little or whatever, but that's, you know, how it goes. Uh, there are some YouTube channels that do stories, and there are some that use AI voices for extras. It sounds good. I remember listening to a story on YouTube of, is it The Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft? And that was, like, voice acted, like, really passionately. That was a cool little creation of theirs. Like, to just put a lot of passion into reading the book and, like, you know, atmospheric sounds and stuff like that really sort of elevated it the next level. Isn't David Tennant in that? Yes, David Tennant I think is one of them. Now, oh, okay, yeah, there we go. I was looking for melon seeds and I was like, I definitely just broke some blocks. Why aren't I seeing what I'm looking for? Uh, we just had a couple of noises in the air, by the way. Harong, whose name I've definitely probably butchered. Thank you so much for using the Amazon Prime. Appreciate you using that on me. Peeps, if you did not know, you do get an Amazon Prime subscription for free. Or a Twitch subscription with your Amazon Prime, should I say. Here on the Twitch. And Becca is here with a tip saying, for your Hello Top. Halo Top. Oh, right. Uh, GWS Happy Season. Thank you so much, Becca. It's not a Halo Top. This is a whole story. So I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very, but thank you again. I'm not, I'm not glossing over. <laughs> I, I've just, you've led me into a story now. I'm going to crack into this story. So I'm a very uh, conscious eater, let's say. I do my calorie counting. Um, you know, I, I enjoy, I love food, but I like to, I like to like know what I'm, I'm, I'm eating the right amount. 
right? So I know my body. I know what I, uh, what foods I get on with and how much to eat each day and stuff like that. That's how I stay very lean. It's, it's not for everyone, but it works for me. Now, ice cream, who doesn't like ice cream? Problem is, when you, when you do calorie counting and stuff like that, you, you start to learn like, oh, this food is like similar to that food, but it has way less calories. What's up with that? Calories aren't everything, right? There's nutrition, satiation, all sorts of other factors, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I would then start to notice that if I have this meal with that thing instead of that thing, like I can have a bigger portion and things like this. So yeah, I, I kind of look at food from that angle as well now. And uh, there's Halo Tops, right? It's ice cream that's made with different ingredients. It tastes pretty much like ice cream. It's pretty darn similar. Is it the same? Not quite, but like some things, you know, ice cream's a good thing. Something that's really similar to ice cream is still a good thing. And ice cream is really rich. Like a tub, a tub of like Ben and Jerry's or something is like 1,500 calories. And that is, that is like, too much of what you need to eat in one day, right? Whereas Halo Top, they, they make it with different ingredients and they get it down to like 300 calories a tub. And so you can sit there and indulge on a whole one if you want to. Who's that going through the neighborhood? You can indulge on a whole one. This led me to uh, Dev saying 1,500 calories when doing 1,000 calories a day is already too much. If you're doing 1,000 calories a day, I mean, the average adult, which is the average, not specific to you, but like 2,000 is the average. I eat on average, you know, 2,800, I'd say. And then in the summer, probably more like 3,000 or more, just because I'm going to be more active. But like, if you're dieting, one of the one of the big problems is just like not having your head around all the numbers and doing something like eating a thousand a day. You are cutting potentially a lot, and that can not be the best way to do it. But if it works for you, you're feeling fine. Maybe maybe it's all right. I just want to let you know. Um, right, and we're getting tons of noises in the air that I need to get caught up on. Mary, Lou Marina, thank you for the prime. Proud Looney here with the cheers and biddies. Glad you're enjoying Good Omen Universe, Asuma. Neil Gaiman is a fantastic writer. He also directed the TV show. The second season of the show is based off a proposed second book. Ah, that they thought of. Thank you for that, because I was wondering, oh, did they split the book into two seasons? That, that actually encourages me to watch it a bit more. And by the way, I believe there's a third season in the works. I saw that somewhere. But um, that was when I didn't like fully know what was what yet, so I could be mistaken. Um, that's that's encouraged me to watch a bit more now like knowing that there's like more to that universe or whatever you want to call it right everything's a universe now isn't it the hermit craft universe oh, God. just call it a minecraft server <clears throat> you forgot to waterlog the slabs by the fenced in villagers oh thank you for the uh, tip In deedly doodly, I diddly. And I forgot to put torches on top of them. Useless. Right. We, we do some trading. I've got junk in my inventory. Oh, God. Look at this. It's a mess. Uh, let's go repair that and do a little bit of trading. And then get back to this. Because I'm still trying to tell a story here. Thank you for those cheers and biddies, proud loony. Creamsicle is here with the prime for 12 months, a whole year. Thank you so much. And we got, oh my God, we got so many gifted subs. Okay. Okay. We're going to, we're going to take a little break right now. I'm going to take a little break. I've been thinking about this. Okay. So I used to have this, like, if we hit so many subs or whatever, we'll play this animation, but, um, I just got done away with it after a while. Right. We can talk about that in more detail later if you want, but I do have this animation and it is cool. It's a good bit of fun. I should probably log out while we play this. So since we've had so many gifted subs today, I want to enjoy this with y'all. I'm going to read these names out first quickly. Okay. Antimon, Brocox, Bardi, Rajakon, Slash, Divercat, Yesja, Can't Win in Gaming, Woo What, 
X3N, thank you all so much for tuning in today. Y'all been gifted subs. By Ligy... Ah, oh, Lucky Tiger Kitten and Sir Donkosaurus. That is an amazing name, Sir Donkosaurus. Thank you for supporting our community. Thank you to everyone else who gifted the subs as well. This is for you. This animation is for you. For your generosity. Speedrun name butchering. That is technically what we just did. Oh, look at that. The people like it. The people like it. And I'll drink a little bit more water. I feel like my voice has gotten better the last, like, 30 minutes. Queen Shazzy, I saw your message there. That's, that honestly sounds about right. Thing is, though, I'm, I'm six foot three. And I work out, you know, religiously. And I'm really active. I get like 15,000 steps a day. So, like, no wonder I'm eating more food. But it's what works for me. God, this is so cool. I love what the food does. Like, this is just amazing. What we did in Season 8, like, it's, oh, I'm so stressed out by doing all of that, but it was so good. I think I just, I had a different mentality back then. I was, like, really on the grind, you know, whereas these days I'm got a different mindset towards everything. Now I look at this and I'm, I'm just thinking, like, man, next time I get, like, some proper inspiration for something, this, this would be a cool thing to do again. I'd bring back some animations to the uh, series. Oh, Alright. Hope you all enjoyed that. I thought the ending faded away. It just kind of cut out. Uh, Genesis Alt, thank you for the Prime. Robot Cowboy, thank you for <gasps> No! Darn it, you're too fast! No! That is genius, but no! You... <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. Can you go slower? <laughs> <laughs> you you really should have had me. Do you want to know, though? I only got two hearts of damage. Yeah, I didn't have time. I was going to go all the way. <sighs> if you were crueler and put down a lava bucket, I think you would have had me. But you're not. <sighs> Well, I'm down here with you as well. I'm, I'm not done. Yeah, this is kind of awkward now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you just tried to uh, kill me. Well done on I that. Was just, uh, I was just digging. <sighs> Nothing to see here, really. <laughs> you totally got me. Like, I feel so shocked. I've got to fill this in now. Yeah, good luck. Oh, j oh thanks. That's just like that. Just leave it for me to clean up. How am I going to get out of here? I've got to use my melons now. No! Stop it! You're not gonna get me. I'm gonna win this thing, I tell you. I know it. You think? I think so, yeah. Go on, try it again. Nothing. I'm invincible. Please oh! die! When will you learn? It's not enough! Please die! That was like two and a half. Oh. Please? No, I will not. Please. You're not going to let me cut. I'm just going to look up and dodge, you know? Please, die. That missed. Missed again. Please. Try better next time. <laughs> Get better, Gem. Get better. <laughs> I thought you were great I at this. Just, I, I can't just... I'm not used to being able to not PvP. This is It's your Achilles heel. <sighs> right, will you let me live in peace now? No. This isn't going to... Well, I'm just going to find an alternative exit then. <laughs> this will do me just fine. Uh, which way should I go? Oh, wait. Is she gone? <laughs> Where did I log out? There. Okay. In the middle of the uh, trading area. That was, that was crazy. I so did not expect that. Oh, the shock. Okay, let's go. Better watch your back, X. <laughs> that was very ominous. 
Watch where you log out. Yeah, I, I will. Thanks for the tip. I'm going to think You're about that. streaming. Wherever you log out, I'm going to see. Well, I won't log out again. <laughs> I'll just stay in. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh, there we go. I feel nervous now. <laughs> All right, Herminator, thank you so much for 59 months, and Chiggin for 10. She's still here stalking me. Look at this. Am I going to be able to trade peacefully or not? Oh, my jaw hurts from smiling. <laughs> oh. I've got absolute jaw ache now. Right. Right, we came here to trade, not to be killed. I'm going to win this game. Absolutely my mission to win. My vigilance, though, definitely went down a notch. Oh, yeah. What was that thing we were going to test about right-clicking a trade? I was told to right-click a trade and it will max it out. Right-clicking don't do anything. Right, we're up to three stacks. That's, that's pretty good. Scanning the area. Scanning the area. Oh, there was another idea that I had. Hmm. This iron farm that we got over here, I was kind of thinking you could make like another water tract to lure the iron golems over here, maybe? How'd you do that? Uh... Anyway, I th this is the thing with streaming. Nothing but distractions. JSTP, thank you ever so much for uh, seven months. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you. Yes, this is the way you do it. Ha! I was I was talking about ice cream and eating and stuff, right? So, so I started eating these Halo tops. Because who don't like ice cream? I mean, I was when I got into eating healthier, I was so so strict for so long. I went like years without eating dessert and stuff. Like it was, I was ridiculous with it. Um, but then when I saw these halo tops, I was like, oh man, I want I want to try that. <laughs> I like ice cream. What just happened? Oh, something must have updated it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it uh, okay. Someone else in chat says it's an update. You know, maybe something just updates it and it can't actually do that. Huh. But that one, that one there doesn't flow out anywhere else. Or, or because it was server lag. Huh. That's an interesting theory. Let's, uh, let's just try it one more time, but not go as far. Anyway. Anyway. I'm trying to tell a story. So, I like, I like Halo Tops. They're cool. They're also kind of expensive. And then I found out about this thing called the Ninja Creamy. Where you can make your own at-home equivalent of a halo top and i was like oh, sounds kind of great i think i'd like this but i was i'm in an r and about it for ages it wasn't until tango apparently has one and loves it and that that tipped me over the edge like i'd heard loads of people from random spots on the internet talk about it and say it's great but then when when tango said it was great i was like all right that's that's like that's all i need i'm gonna get one couldn't get one though because they're pretty in demand ninja project uh, pro products products get there in the end and now everyone in chat is saying stream lag i have no indication of anything wrong on my end by the way and y'all are saying it's just the uh, stream well let me check Oh, wow. No, no, no. There is something wrong on my computer. That is that is weird. I'm seeing that here. Dang, that's weird. I've not seen that happen before. Let's see. Uh, memory. Oh, my God. The uh, the game is set to 4 gigs. That's probably a mistake. Should probably lower that down. Although, I don't think that's the cause. But Maybe just rebooting the game might fix it. I saw that, though. I saw it chopping on my end. I'm going to reboot. Oh. Dang it, I can't log out. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. 
the disconnect. So when I end my stream, I have to go like wander around for a little bit before I log out. Okay. Um, let's go to this. Edit that. And more options. Right, so I want to turn down the amount of memory. Okay, and then boot up another Minecraft. I mean, that choppiness was... Oh, it's doing it again. That is really weird. I don't know if actually rebooting the game is the answer here. But that is not a good sign. Like, it shouldn't do this. It shouldn't lag like this. I uh, wonder what other things... I wonder if there's stuff running on the computer that shouldn't be. Actually, that's interesting. Uh... Right, let's see what happens when I log back in. Seems smooth for a moment. I'm seeing that some other apps were uh, running on my computer and using a lot of the CPU, but they just sort of stopped doing that, so... Oh, that's, uh, whoa, this ain't, this ain't normal. Why is this happening? Right, I'm going to close some other windows and stuff if I can. These lag spikes always happen after two hours. This is the first I've heard of this, Lucro. What are you on about these lag spikes after two hours? That's really bad, isn't it? So I can actually stop recording and keep streaming. Okay, then I can start recording again. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was the file. The, the file size being held in memory or something was causing an issue. No, it's doing it again. The heck is that? Am I streaming with the CPU or the GPU? I'm using the GPU's transcoder. That's what it's built for. Okay. I'm going to leave Task Manager open for a second while I do this. I don't really want to like restart the stream is the issue. Okay, keeping it smooth. Not seeing anything wrong on the other screen. Yeah. There should be Can no reason this is like no, lagging like out. No, it's, uh, no wait. Uh, my chest is over here. Here. I have a bit. Okay. Okay, awesome. Okay, so what I need you to do. Hello. Is I need you. To, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. I need you to pick out 27 blocks. Yeah. Uh, and it can be 27 of the same block, or it can be 27 in like 10 of one, two of one. I would advise you to not do 27 of the same one, and I would yes, advise yes. you to not do 27 unique ones. But it has to be looking, blocks, though. Yeah, if you look into my chest, though, you can see my selection is quite limited. Yeah, it's limited. It's limited. That's, that's fair okay, enough. Okay, 27. Wait. It should be uh, blocks that you like as well, preferably. So you should, yeah, out yeah. of the blocks you have, take the take the best blocks you can. Oh, you have wait. another chest here as well. Yeah, wait. Okay, so we got... Let's let's make a... We need an empty chest. Is there some... So I can, can you, count out? Can you make... Blocks? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Let's head over here. They're, uh, there they're just like in no, proximity, you know, whatever. <laughs> Still laggy. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what's causing it. Like, I don't really want to restart the stream midstream or anything. Oh yeah, if you have that. I don't know what else to look at really. I looked at Task Manager and a few things. Uh, we got a noise in the ear. Bell on the T. Sixty-four months, a whole stack. Thank you so much, my dude. That's a lovely message as well. I really like the way you worded that. Evil X in his house now. X, could it be Nvidium? Um. Okay, first of all, like. Okay, Lucaro replied. We've told you about them like a dozen times now. Just always in individual streams. Maybe you don't notice the pattern. 
no one's no one's come to me and said after two hours this happened so like you get lag and issues all the time right this is the first time where I've been able to see, oh, this is happening on my computer. Like, I open up the preview of the stream and I see the same lag spikes. The reason I checked that is because someone said that the audio was good, but the video wasn't. That kind of tipped me off. It's like, oh, that sounds like a interesting thing. I've had CP issues like this before. My fix has been right-clicking the Java runtime and make it run in efficiency, along with decreased render distance, sim distance below 12. I would recommend that. So Sashio vibes. I don't know, like... I mean, you can you can start trying stuff, right, and see if you can fix it or not. But the thing is, exactly, yeah. Yeah, good man. Good man. like, I want to keep this set up, right? Like, it's not an issue. And apparently, like, Lucro, does it happen with different games or just with Minecraft? Well, we know what Iskow is up to. You've got to take 20. I was half tempted to be like, yo, Doc, make sure you bring the best blocks. Like, diamond blocks are going to be so good. <laughs> Just completely troll him, and then he's got to put diamond blocks into that build. But now, nah, I was just like, ah, uh, you know what? They're doing a whole thing here. I'll leave them to it. Well, I'm not seeing any lag spikes at the minute. That's a good question. I think it happens with other games too, but I might misremember. Yeah, it's starting to keep our eye on. It's like, if it is Nvidia, the thing is, like, this is the first time I'm playing with this Bobby and Nvidia setup, right? So, someone's saying, ah, oh, you need to turn your render distance down and stuff. Well, it wasn't an issue when I won't. Sorry. Apparently, it was an issue when I had a different setup. So, it. Oh, probably not that. Right, it seems to be okay now. It'll probably come back. We'll just roll with it, I think. Happened with Bolt Hunters several times too. So yeah, Bolt Hunters isn't... Um, what you call it either, is it? Davidium and Bobby. Right, Diagonal was supposed to be the trick here, wasn't it? Going back now. That shouldn't that be water there then? I think I might just put water there underneath it anyway. Oh, you run in the video now. You watch Purple's video on it. I don't know who Purple is, but uh, no, the author of the mod shared it with me a long time ago. And this season, I just decided, yeah, let's, you know, do the whole Nvidia and Bobby thing. Uh, more melon farms saves you a headache? Question mark. Uh, yeah. Well, I just, I'm just like tidying it up so it's a little easier to move around and farm. I'm not picking up any more melons because we've got a full stack. Right. Ah! I didn't want to land on it. Let's chuck those in there for a moment. And again, diagonals. Every time, diagonals is what we've got to do. Right. Did I ever finish my story off about the ice cream? How many distractions did we have whilst trying to tell that story? We got as far as like the ninja creamy. This lag spike thing seems to be over for the moment. So I'm going to switch back to my activity feed. Um, yeah. So I get the ninja creamy. And now I can make my own homemade equivalents of halo tops. And they are amazing. And so simple. Like... I wouldn't say they're like quite as tasty, they, like, but you can make your own flavours and all I do is just mix protein powder with milk and that's it. <clears throat> I can go a little further if I want to. You can do stuff like chop up a uh, chocolate bar and chuck it in with it if you want. 
But yeah, like protein powder and milk, that's just like, don't even worry about it when it comes to like healthy or not. That's perfectly fine to have something like that. So now I'm just uh, having those a couple of times a week. They're awesome. You can make like, I make like peanut butter and chocolate flavor with uh, almond milk. And then just chocolate fudge. I found some really good protein powder that makes a really nice chocolatey flavor. I'm loving it. It's great. Just have like sit down and have a pint of chocolate ice cream every now and then. I mean, yeah. They're back. That's over. That's over. That's over. That's over. That's over. That's over. Hello, hello. Say his name and he appears. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, Fools, I could have swore I heard stress. Did, no. did I you think, just say, I maybe... hello, 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 hello? That was me, yeah. That was, sounded so like stress. Oh, my God, you confused yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. Hmm. We we channeled stress there for a moment. Indeed. How can I help you all? How's it going, X? It's going all I'm right. I'm taking Fools on a tour around yeah. the place. I've just been yeah. showing, showing uh, the neighborhood a little bit. We've awesome. noticed how many of us are so close by. We've realized that we're, like, literally a neighborhood right now. Yeah, it's Pretty awesome. Cool. I'm loving it. And what are you farming? up to? What you doing? I'm over here just looking looking over my own shoulder, you know, because <laughs> an attempt has been made on my life. <gasps> By who? Oh, no. By Jem. Jem? I, yeah. I'm wow. shocked. I log out get, get, get word. for just a moment. I log back in and I'm falling down into a hole. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> Azima, on behalf of all of the red names, I apologize for Jem's <laughs> dastardly behavior. I mean, it's just terrible. Uh, uh, actually a reaper. I mean, I might as well not be, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, a friendly <laughs> reaper. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe that's the axe, though, right? You know? Old innocent yeah. red. Oh, he keeps forgetting he's a red name, and then bam, hits you with the TNT minecart. Well, Yesterday, I tried to yet? uninstall... Um, XB and Wells and failed twice. <laughs> so I've still kind of given up. Yeah. You've actually oh. already tried. Oh my goodness. And you've. Yeah. Okay. Ren, I've, I'm retired. Need, though. Need some I'm retired. Oh, I'm a retired. retired. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, you might. Like, what happens if you don't kill anyone when the game's over? Do you stay a red namer forever? <laughs> Is that like a badge of honor or a badge of shame? I mean, I'm having a red name is pretty cool. That my red name looks good with my skin. It does, so actually. Maybe I'll yeah. just keep it. It does, yeah. I'll just keep yeah. the red name. Cool indeed. Can I keep the red name, Azuma, please? Papa Zuma, can I keep the red name, please? That's not up to me. I mean... <laughs> if, you if, made the rules, Azuma, don't lie. I, I had nothing to do with the mice. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. But you are the Papa. I, of, I am the Papa. Of Omicron. <laughs> if it's yeah. possible, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, that us me all happy. picking our own coloured names would be pretty cool, I think. Ooh. Yeah, I think yellow would suit me, right? You know? Yeah. yeah. Yellow, yellow would be good on you. I think I'll go for, Let's definitely go for orange. Let's go for custom names. Would, 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 no, X, you no, got to go for like purple. purple. You got to go yeah. purple. Dude. Purple? Uh, yeah. Could do, I guess. Oh. Dude, have you seen your own face? <laughs> I mean. The Zimmer doesn't have mirrors in his house. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely purpley. <laughs> purple visor. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, X. I hope we're not just. <laughs> we just no, no, it's fine. You're more than welcome to. I'm just over here trying to diagnose my computer because it keeps keeps lagging. Like my oh, Minecraft no. game keeps, I don't know, dropping frames. Oh, like freezing. I blame, I blame Windows, Windows 11. Windows, Windows 11 has ruined everything in my life. I hate it so oh, much. Did you see what XP shared with you on that one? No, I must check. Okay, if his is this is this <laughs> what? If his thing doesn't help you, um. Look into some of the bloatware in Windows 11 and the okay. Xbox game bar because that thing gave me a bunch of issues. Like it just popped up in games and stuff and like it's got recording stuff built into it and it's like, oh, what is it doing? Uh, Every time I like restart my computer, Microsoft tries to sell me like 15 things. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Oh, man. It makes I wonder, so I wonder what the user experience is like if you just click yes on everything. <laughs> like, does it actually go away? Or, like, do they just keep shoveling stuff towards you? I don't know, man. But, uh, oh, it's making me so angry, honestly. But, um, it is what it is. Yeah, uh, computer troubles are a real, yeah, yeah. real stressor. Sure. Uh, any hoozle, I shall continue on Falsy's tour. False? Yeah. Oh, cool. Come with me. Hi. There is more to see. 
Oh, we shall leave a Zuma be. I just, I just did like a whole rhyme. I know it's amazing. It's cool. Thank Beautiful. You. Are you impressed, Dex? Drop a beat on the back of that. Uh, I'm, I'm not a beatboxer. Beat. Oh, okay. It'll sound terrible. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could. That, but admit, that ain't my that skill. That would definitely make a cringe compilation. So let's pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys. Ooh. Just getting some bamboo while we're at it. Yeah, rather than go to Zoomers. Oh. Okay. Yeah, why not? Yeah. There we go. Uh, okay, so that is He's totally going to trap false, isn't he? I mean, I put the idea out there, I guess, in a way, right? I kind of put the idea out there. Right, I think... I think that we... Can't stop mining these blocks. They're just... It's like... It's like you just want to pop them, you know? You want to get more. But they just never stop. They're just always going to keep popping up. Okay, like here. Blatantly need some more. I don't know if they grow onto farmland. That might be an issue if they don't. See, we're making it all more efficient now. We're filling in all the gaps. There's another one there. Mr. Light of Valley. Thank you so much for subscribing with the Prime. Wow, how did I miss that one? I think we've got all of them though. I would have said that before I found that one. Now, how many times have I been interrupted trying to tell my story about ice cream? Although I think I got to the end of it. I think I got to the end of it. Not that anyone cared. Oh, look. Here's some more spots where we can go. And then, while we've been in the area, we get that. Okay. So you can see the problem now is... We've got loads of junk. We drop off the junk, do another round of trading. Rastin the Beloved says, I guess we'll never know about the ice cream. I mean, I don't know where I was going with that story, because it got interrupted so many times. That I'll never know what I was trying to say. Okay, this is all this is all junk. I think. I hope. Hopefully got it right. Yeah, that looks better. This is my usual assortment of things I keep on me. Please eat you have melons. I have golden carrots, man. I'm on a golden diet here. Same issue happened on the 28th of October. That was the Lord of the Rings game with the other hermits. Lag seems to be over now, which is also part of the pattern. They never lasted long. I I'm amazed at like how much... How this is such a big deal, but like... I'm unaware of it. Okay. Um, right, so let's get back in there and trade. Oh, and repair some gear. Yeah, so on the whole lag thing, I don't know. I'm just going to have to... Become more aware of it and then hopefully figure it out at some point. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Alright, also I think I've got to stand like here to get it all. Pretty good way to repair some gear on the fly, isn't it? And like that, we spent ages getting these blocks. And now they're all turned into emeralds and it doesn't even feel like we've got a crazy amount. Now, I got, I got an axe. No, I didn't get the axes. I got two mending books and one efficiency book, if I recall correctly. So I think I need one more of those. Then I need two axes. I think I need unbreaking free. Did I get an axe? Let's get one and two of those. I think I'd be smart to go and double check this, actually. I would be smart to do a double check. Tougher Gaming says X! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Hello. Is this the community trading hall? It is. It is. Okay, so I did get an axe. I've, I've remembered correctly. So we need one more axe for this. And then we've got mending efficiency and I'm breaking... Do I want Silk Touch? See, I've got Silk Touch on this one. 
I don't think I need anything else on them. Maybe fortune for like leaves, but I guess it's worth having fortune. So I think one more axe and then two fortune books seems to be probably what we're after here. Who sells the bookshelves? There they are. No one profits off books this time, says AO1K. No one profits. What do you mean no one profits off of it? I don't follow, basically. There you are. Loyalty as well. Isn't that the max for loyalty? Hang on, we should write that up there then. That's the max, might as well. Okay. Right, so. I have leftover emeralds. I don't know what to do with them. I might try and make another pair of axes. I need the axes for something important in the future. A little project I'm going to do. But yeah, that's something to do another time, I think. I'm not sure what else I need right now. Like, you can get by on not a crazy amount. Don't you even think about it. Don't worry about me. Yeah, you're just over here digging another hole, I see. The whole thing will be rigged now. <laughs> okay. I don't know what she's up to, but I'm getting out of here. Maybe a silk pick. Yeah, I, I probably need another pick soon, right? Especially if I want to get... Oh, you shouldn't... Oh, this is... No. Like... That's not good when you're on there, because then other ones don't spawn. That's the problem. Uh, Sapphic Whimsy. That's a cool name. Thank you ever so much for your Amazon Prime subscription. Appreciate it. I guess if I nudge this guy off... Then is that... That's not even a guarantee you're going to go all the way in the water. I've got to go down again. There you are. There you are. See you later, mate. See you later. All right. And, uh, okay, I think we're safe now. This is where I'm going to wrap up my stream and definitely not log out in this spot right here. In fact, I'm not even going to tab out or look at a different screen. Oh, and by the way, actually, I've got to do something. I've got to do something. I've got to plug my own music. Because some of y'all might not know what I got up to last year. There's lots of you tuning back in to see the beginning of season 10. All right. I made some songs and I made a whole record. All right, I finally made that record that you probably heard me waffle about over and over again. It's free to listen to on Spotify. Go and check it out right now. And then if you want to hear some of the new songs I made in the year, there's some demos on my Soul Side Eclipse channel. So, uh, you know, it's free. Go listen to it. Enjoy it. Have a good time. It, it would be amazing if you did that. So uh, thank you for going checking out the music. But yeah, it's the end of the stream. I'm going to look for someone to raid, hopefully like another hermit. But no other hermit is. So I guess not. Okay. I'll pick a random Minecraft channel today. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the stream. So thank you everyone ever so much for your tremendous support. There'll be an episode of Hermitcraft on the main channel tomorrow. And... Uh, I'm going to stream again Tuesday, I think. That's kind of it. So yeah, hope you hope you had a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Right. Uh, I think I got a random channel. Okay. Going to take you to a random channel today. If it works. It's been pain lately. Okay, I think it's going to work. Right, yeah, that's it. Hope you all